it's time to play Wildflowers, a farming game. You got the farming elements to it. And is also interesting because it is taking more of a story route. So we won't have any character creation for this one. We play a specific lady. We start our new game here at with Studio Dry Dock. We look at the houses. We look at the people. Look, the guy on the right so happy. Look at his big smile. Look at the girl with her little guitar. Look, there's a pigeon there. Hi, pigeon. Hello. I wish the intro could continue even while we play the game. I mean, in a way, we just have conversation. Isn't that kind of like having an intro? Please picture and picture the intro screen in the corner. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> Instead of having a face cam, we just have the intro screen. Look, a couple of ladies with a little baby sheep. Oh my god, that makes me think I actually started a Space Station 13 round. Where I started as the rancher, rather than late joining in, and I actually paid attention, and here I am entering in as the rancher, and I look over at Dolly, and she is the little baby lamb form, and god dang it if she wasn't adorable. This art style is reminding me of that game where you turn into a cat. I'm like pausing because I'm. Me. Huh? We trying to remember to the name of it. The pseudo one. Farm. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's Carol? sweary. Sweary oh my one. goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? Hi! I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, True. do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs oh, look at the surfer me, guy in the back, the dude. Top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. Voice acting, Monka is. Yeah, this game, honestly, when I got into it, I think the way the Paul, how to describe it? The polish of it, I suppose. It feels, even though this is still an indie studio, it feels like a almost cut above a lot of other farming games. This isn't to say that other ones are bad. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying this one is because especially with the faces, I'm so used to playing ones where they just have a flat profile and then they just have images put on for their eyes and their mouth of the like. And then they just have the symbol like, four or five different mouth shapes for the different words to do the lip syncing for, which always looks just fine. Maybe sometimes a little bit weird because if they get their placement a little bit off, but it's never like, this looks bad, this looks terrible. This one, having the actual modeled faces and lip syncing with all of the voice acting becomes then really impressive. There is something about the way this, the visuals of this game are executed just, I really like and I think is very impressive. I was playing a Space Station 13 once and Dolly died! So we had a funeral for her and after the burial, a ray of light appeared in the chapel and a baby Dolly floated down from the heavens. That's amazing. And hello there, reanimated bit. Welcome. Oh, I am sure Hazel can't wait to see you again. Just head up the stairs and take a left. Like this kind of voice acting and lip sync the good life that is it well yes but even usually when you talk and even if there is voice acting there usually isn't that precise lip sync it gives the game this game almost that sort of bigger studio i don't want to say quite triple a but maybe along those lines of execution for their graphics and the like it's just it's really nice. Elevated chats are now in Kaku chat. How much do they cost? Five dollars for 30 seconds. Who? Why go who? 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 You? 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 Who? 
He's so huffy. He's so upset. Shadow is just like, oh my god, what the heck? What the hell they do? Oh my god. wag, but we do get long noise. Yeah. It, it was close with the one. I ought to blast you. Is Shadow okay? Not no, he's idea, man. He's actually. dumbfounded. My charm will bind uh, oh. and unwind. See? Magic. <laughs> Look at it go. Why did it go on so long? It was only four wags. Oh, it's Occasionally you. the TTS oh, just does its own thing. Honeybee. <laughs> Powerful grandma so jaw. Anymore, grandma. She's a strong <laughs> lady. Look at her. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Ooh, we're gonna farm Why potatoes! Why don't you seeds and I can get them planted? Yay! That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just... Head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about. <laughs> Roping is poor play. Please finish your turn, Tara. <laughs> Rumbunda spot. All right, we plant some potatoes. Yay! Plant these potatoes and then wait five days. I shove them into the ground. Or, sorry, I sprinkle natural. them. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. Bud this spud pants scrub. You can fill Dude, it up. I'm it blushing. Sold well. And now we fill up our watering can. Ding! Which is, looks a little bit rusty there. I think I need a new watering can. There we go. Now they're all watered. There, there you go, now. Grandma. That should do it. Grandma. It'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. I'd love that. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, manual labor! Silly, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> this is where best. Welly would is weigh and be like, hell like yeah! Well, Mushroom if collecting? You to Dude. Get some new seeds in town. It might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. Oh, her little All grandma's right. little here clapping with her little fist shaking Farming. with excitement. <laughs> This Grandma makes weed brownies. So uh, uh, uh. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. But like the animation is really good in this game too. Like Grandma's like little tiny shakiness that she's got to her. The voice acting, the fungus among us, of course. The the voice acting too is really well done. It makes this game very exciting to play. Like, look at the jumps, too! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Sus re Thank you, Shrek. That, that's the comedy. That's the comedy hey, we're looking for. I remembered this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven. Mm. But so did everything around here. Yeah, like, look at this bridge. How did it become like this? Danger. This bridge has been declared unfit for use. The path to the mountains is off limits. Hang on. I'm looking at the water, though. Can I just, like, walk through the water to get across? It should be fine, right? I only reach for the lowest hanging fruit. Paint scrap. Thank you, Shrek. <laughs> Your socks would get wet. Probably do have socks on, just like little booty socks. But I can just take off my socks and shoes, dude. It's not like they're stuck to my feet. 
City girls don't get their socks wet. Again, this is why I just take them off, Chet. They're not glued there. I have you just been wearing the entire time the same pair of sh uh, socks for like the last of forever? Socks are just portable pools for your feet. Oh no, that's cursed. Emily, illegal. I'm supposed to be bringing these mushrooms back to grandma, so I don't know why I'm walking over into town. Grandma! Gra Hummingbird? Oh, oh no! It's cute, can I hit? Am I walking on top of the hummingbird? Hummingbird, oh my god, I've killed you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on top. You're just so small, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Swap socks at least daily. Apparently people in chat don't do that because they're confused by the idea of taking socks off in order to wade through river. All right, Grandma, tell me about the mushrooms. Ah, spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? <laughs> yeah! But, Emily, video games like this remind me of the fact that games where you can't jump feel really stiff, but nobody jumps this much IRL. Honestly, y you do raise a good point. It's kind of funny. Whenever I play games, I'm like, where's the jump button? And then you just want to constantly, or I know I want to just frequently, constantly jump around as I explore and look and check out the world. But we never do that in real life. We don't just walk around like you don't look at a video of new yorkers walking along the streets and you don't see just a bunch of them jumping around now as i'm saying that imagine everybody's just walking along but then there's just one guy who's just like hop 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 and then you can point out and say yes that one is the player controlled person everybody else around them is just a bunch of npcs the jumping guy right there they're the player. <laughs> I found the mushrooms, Grandma! Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside. Goblins?! <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> yeah, liar. It was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushrooms. Why is grandma not there? actually looking at I'm me? She's like just now. looking in my general direction, but isn't looking up at me. I hate when jumps in games make you lose momentum and speed. Yeah, how am I supposed to happily jump around all over the place if it makes me slower? Stop it! Keep my speed up! And then the potato quest is just getting the seeds and planting more potatoes. So now we need to go run into town, meet the mayor, and buy some potato seeds. They always skip bronze and go right to iron. Yeah, because there's no point in grabbing the first one. And look, here's a lady. Hi. Uh, hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi. I'm Hazel Wilde's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Ore? Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. I love Natalia. Her last name is very intense there. But I love Natalia. She's adorable. And what's up with the orange-haired chicks? The redheads being the, like more tomboyish ones because i'm thinking back to older harvest moon game where you had Anne, who was farm girl tomboyish she was a redhead we just played potion permit where their blacksmithy character had a blacksmithy character that was also a redhead and now we have natalia over here redhead that is a blacksmith Hmm, Petri, can you confirm? Petri would not be able to confirm because Petri is definitely not a blacksmith. Sunhaven 
Blacksmith is a redhead gal too? It's been a while since I've played that one, but there, there would be another example. What, what's with that? Sadly, you can't marry the redhead in Potion Permit. This is a miserable discovery. I'm upset. And now I'm going to have to resist crying. Actually, I think the blacksmith in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is a red-headed lady too, see? Oh, huh? What's with all the redhead? It, it's because they're sassy and they're fiery. And a blacksmith, fiery. Therefore, gotta make them redheads. Redheads break traditional gender roles. I, I guess so. Hi there, Mr. Satism. Welcome. Also, rainbow flag at the mayor's place. Hello oh, there, mayor. Hello, welcome. welcome He's got a powerful welcome. chin. Too. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you Otto must Soft? be the new voter. I mean, <laughs> <neighbor. laughs> Uh, yes, uh, 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 pardon me? If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. Chad Mayor. Town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. So that end, way you can vote for me. I mean. Everyone, so we've made it a little game. What? The fine Fairhaven what? folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can Ooh, give you a my character after you've met everyone. It's Why really is she so shocked? Clever. She looks so upset by this. <laughs> Plus, a little bit creepy. I guess that's why she was upset. This is kind of creepy. Funny. Anyway, come and see me <laughs> after you've met everyone. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway. <laughs> Police state. <laughs> this is great. All right. The most elaborate. I like this is the way they're introducing the idea of meeting everybody in town, too, as being a little game. And that the character, the main character is like, isn't this a little bit weird? Have I missed the awkward harassment bit? Hi there, Fuzzy. Hi, hello, welcome. For just a split second when I was walking out of the building, I thought this was a capsule machine or it could have done some gachapon, you know? Just like a split second where the circle looked like it was a, a, a capsule image. And then the rest of it, you know, open clear at the top. So you'd be able to see all of the uh, different capsules. And then the bottom part where the actual area where you put in your cash money and stuff. <laughs> gotcha on your mind. <laughs> I guess so. Every moment in the Kako stream. I'm checking through these stores now. I don't think I buy seeds here. Every moment in the Kako stream is awkward harassment where chat harasses the streamer. Wait, you've been harassing me this entire time? Oh no. Violets, violets. I'm going to assume then I'm not going to be able to buy potato seeds if that is supposed to be just a dedicated flower shop. Here we've got Kid on oh, Swing. Hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, Sebastian? Yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little laugh he had at the end. For, But I'm gonna be honest, he, he doesn't quite sound like a kid, or I don't know how old he's supposed to be. I started talking to him, and I'm like, are you just a really short adult? But if he says grown up, he can't be. I also love this teacher. I'm assuming she's Welcome. teacher. I am Vanessa. Soft, I love First Vanessa. Fairhaven. For, oh, dang it! You. How is your grandmother doing? God dang it! She's well. To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Man, if she's the first lady, that means she's married to the main guy. Yeah, Vanessa Soft. Dang it! That means I can't wed her. Oh. Goddamn Zoomers on their cell phones. Oh my god. He's probably opening up Discord. Oh, I like these other two kids running along. Wow, they're so fast! Like a couple of Hi. Sonic the Hedgehogs Are over here. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. See, this one. Who's this guy mom? sounds like a kid. Tina. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. Hi, Finn. And... Hello there, by the way, Duke Cateron. Welcome. 
Sounds like it's good old-fashioned political assassination. Do you think I could break them up that way? The first lady and the mayor, and then I could date the first lady? Hmm. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Oh, got her. <laughs> I like her hair too. I love the little like buns like that. They're so cute. Oh, he was watching my stream. Oh, well, then I won't complain about him. <laughs> but I like then while he makes the comment, um, you have mobile discord, Kako. Are you calling yourself a zoomer? And then suddenly I de-age. Oh, ooh, woods. Hello. Okay, those red spotted mushrooms or white spotted mushrooms, definitely poisonous, right? I can't eat those ones, yeah? Oh, look, a house. Dear God, how strong is she if she could jump over a fence that easily? She's got powerful legs. I do not skip leg day. Spotted mushrooms are delicious. Mmm. Wait, is that a cat? Oh no. Oh no, it's oh, cute. Such a good cat. Ow. Oh. oh, I love strange cat. Can I take strange cat home? I want to have the strange cat. We'd be best friends. I wouldn't need to get married then. You know? Just be best friends with my cat. Hello? Anyone live here? And the next. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Nothing. I can't break in. Dude, what the hell? But, mmm, yummy. Amanita muscaria. I'm going to assume that is a totally non-toxic type of mushroom. Mm -mm. Tasty. It's magically delicious. I don't see. Wait. Oh, a mandrake. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Oh, oh, here I was about to make a comment about can I pick these? And for a split second, I thought it was a case of yes, I can pick these. But then I see behind it. It's just more mandrakes. Eating Amanita. Omega lol. What? Are you laughing because you're supposed to cook it first? Does it taste better that way? Okay, 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 okay. We'll put it on the stove. We'll do a little bit of frying. And then we'll eat it. And then it's then it's doubly delicious, right? That 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 was the issue, yeah? Some amanitas are very poisonous. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think that's true. I, that, that doesn't sound right. Hey, yep, smile. See, because if you say... Eh, a man eat a Amanita. A man eat. Hmm? Hmm? Clearly it's named that because people eat those mushrooms. I did not buy any potato seeds, but I guess it's too late now because it's 10 o'clock at sleepy. night. Technically you can eat it. A man eats it. Mandrake, Root, and Fly Agaric. We're in real witch cauldron hours now. Yes! Hang on. What? Huh? Who is this? Why do they have a spooky, mysterious cape? Wearing spooky, mysterious cloak. Oh, dude. They're fabulous. Can I marry them? Uh, <laughs> as long as we're not, you know, like, as long as you're not already taken or something. Okay, they magicked the root. Raven? Cool name. They want to get through that spirally thorn. But they can't. How do they get through? Team Titans? God dang it, Welly. <laughs> Good morning, Grandma. So about that... Mushroom soup that you couldn't make me for dinner last night. Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup, sure to warm our. Bags. She says, and handing your, it to me in a bag. Sure right of, Bagged uh, soup. Gills or whatever. We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth. Oh no! If I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Oh, what, oh, Grandma? Grandma? <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. Purposefully you know, drugging me? I 
have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still If I wanted you to trip balls, you'd Could know. You go and find a couple of the big old logs lying <laughs> around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Uh, you'll need this to get started. Da -da 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 -da! I got the soup. But don't worry, I was. We did not make soup out of the Amanita mushrooms, the spotted ones. We made them out of the uh, brown mushrooms we collected. So now we have some cream of mushroom soup made from Grandma's recipe. Hmm. Or we can sell it to Sophia. Why eat when we could sell it? There we go. What? Chet. Wood? W wood? Didn't you know it? W uh, uh. I love it. I, I love the pun jokes in my video games. Hell yeah. That's what I'm here for. That he's shaking your head. Stop it, slime. I need you to I need you to be nodding. Yes, we like that joke. See, thank you, Thonax. That's what I want to say. I don't get it. Okay, okay. We've got the learner's chair don't over here. To water Look. those potatoes every day. It is funny. Yeah. Uh, wait there a second, guy. I don't know what you want, but I want to water here. Potatoes? Done. You would and get it. A uh, frick? Eh? Eh? It's watering time! Cleaning God dang it, Welly. How you settling in? I'm getting there. Nah, here he is. I moved here from the city myself ten years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now. I'll let so you know. <laughs> I want to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be Perfect. hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yeah, if I didn't know how to sell my stuff, that would be hard to make a profit, wouldn't it? And Thonax, thank you for following. Let's yes, go. That would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. Do I have a map? I uh, oh, I do have a map. Okay, great. We do have map. Map exists, so I can navigate with map. The town's folk sound so nice. This game is so comfy. It really is. And again, I think this is one of the... Obviously, we're not very far in it for it so far. But it definitely has, like, higher yes, tier I farming sim vibes. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am no. indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. Oh, wow, <laughs> no, dude, nice it's him! It's yes. him! Do you think he'll that take on the autograph? That is totally a show that I have indeed heard of and watch. Mm -hmm. Oh, my little mm -hmm. claim to fame. I run the bakery in our humble town. It's him, dude! He's Angus! He's got the beef! I am your biggest fan! The art style reminds me of my time at Porsche a bit. You know, it kind of does. A little bit. It's not a farming game, but are you considering my time at Sandrock? You can be gay. I have. It's been on my wish list because I played my time at Porsche as well. I just haven't played or purchased my time at Sandrock yet. As I'm thinking, I... I can't remember my exact reason. I think it was because I wanted to wait a little bit longer before I played it. My time at Porsche looks a bit more scuffed, but yeah, I would agree. Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You I like this eyes. guy. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> what? <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately, but I got Oh, of course he's the fisherman. <laughs> of course he's the fisherman. You Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotal is all. And who's your new friend here? <laughs> Guten Tag. 
You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just the picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah. She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. Oh, uh, that grandma. That Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? I like Damon. Damon's pretty good. Bruno's pretty good, too. I like both of them. <laughs> Damon has a gambling ring. Oh, no. Oh, I think this is the general store. Let's go into here real quick. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. I like Lena a lot, too. She's oh, so Parker, wholesome and friendly. About the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's back what? and found giggling a over breakfast. Oh no! <laughs> Not a prankster! I, I mean, that's that's terrible. Absolute See, worst! That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. First, it's the whoopee cushions. Next, it's going to be the buzzers and hands. And then it's going to be the fake gum sticks where you grab them and they shock you. This kid's going down a dark path. The hell is a mommy cop? Uh, she's a mother that has to play like the police officer rather than being the fun parent. That's what she's saying. But Bird Bob, hello, welcome. It's been a little while since I've seen you. Hi, hello. Raising the Joker right there. <laughs> Just one bad day away. And then everything goes downhill. I think she meant she had to be the disciplinarian. Yeah, hey, that's pretty much, I think, what she was getting at. All right, Lena. I'm here for some potatoes. I think we needed four seeds. Never heard it, heard it put as mommy cop. Well, now you have. <laughs> Kid's Joker moment. A fisherman in debt, barely able to pay off the repairs on his boat. Fish never biting and the prices forced down due to the spread of industrial fishing. <laughs> it's the dream. Ooh. Dude, this guy's Hi, hardcore. Jim. This hey, this person's Jim. hardcore. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh. So what sent you screaming from the city? I Good like job. Kim. So They're cute. On dating apps. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. I got let go from my job in the city, so I came here for a fresh start. I get it. I came here to try something new, too. This is the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Kim Izumi. I like them. They're cool, too. All right. A rancher? That's gonna be us. And the Kako, it could be you. I could send my ranched animals down to be butchered. Finally, a farming game where we can eat the meat. How can be... Uh, meat be ethical. It's about the why you raise the animals, you know, kind of like how you can shove your chicken into tiny cage where it's just there 100% of the time always, or they can, you know, be free range. There's different levels here. Surfer hey, bro. bro. Hey, yes. But, uh, What's bro. up, bro? Uh, my name's Kai. Check it out. Oh this no, is my Kai. Kiosk. I'm here, you know, whenever. It's like a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off island. Take a look, but like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. I, I wink at him aggressively. Oh, I already right have. You know. you know? Okay. Guy's pretty good. Y you know, it's kind of funny because in one of the earlier. Oh my god, that guy that just walked across in the background. Hold up. Hang on. I'm running to him. I'm talking to him. Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. I love oh, this. Just like I pictured. I'm I love sorry, this what? guy. Uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Look at him. Oh, 
And you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. Creep alert. I like the cream. <laughs> Santa lost weight. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, I've already met Fisherman Guy. Wait, what? Oh, oh no, the shop is so cute. It's like a little soda parlor. Look at them. And she's waving to me. I wave back. Hi, hello. Welcome to Cafe Moretti. Hi. What can I get you today? Oh, I'm new here. I just came by to say hello. It does smell great in here, though. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. That's me! Welcome. Uh, I hope you come back soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hi, hey, Sophia. Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Switch to the sell page to see what items you can sell at the shop. I can sell the mushroom soup here. I can also sell apple juice. I love the little container it's pictured in. It's adorable. And look, I could have chocolate milkshake. Oh, you can buy recipes here as well. Recipes for beverage buffs. Recipes for pizza chefs. We could make pizza. I need to start collecting the ingredients so I can get some, um, make some homemade pizzas. Has anyone here ever introduced themselves to all the local shops after moving? B I'm thinking, and certainly not for me in real life, but I've also never lived in a town this tiny because do consider the map size here. Like, this is it. This is the town. Has anyone ever lived in a town like this before? Because I could picture it then. You do end up meeting everybody around. Yes, says Welly. You? Huh? Hmm? You've hey, been in I'm smaller. Tara. Oh my oh, god. The new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak Ooh. French? Well, <laughs> no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. Well, <laughs> enchante. I like that just saying a singular word in a foreign language is enough to be like, D wow, do you speak that language? Ooh, who are you? Is this the pharmacy? Is this the clinic? It is. Amira? She's got cool eyeshadow. Oh, <laughs> and who is this beautiful cool doctor. Oh, I, no! Uh, Compliment! Uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, flirty Thanks. doctor! <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. <sighs> She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for... A while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Dude, supportive doctor lady. Kind of weird to have a flirty doctor, huh? I'll put it as it'll... It would be a lot weirder if I was coming in for a doctor appointment. And here I am, you know, as she's hitting me with her little hammer on the knee and is like, Wow, you've got quite the reaction, haven't you? As she then gives me a big wink. Then it might start getting weird. So as long as it's only on, say, personal meetings where she's maybe a little bit flirty. <laughs> and not in a professional meeting, you know? But yeah. <laughs> Push his fingers together at the flirty doctor. Oh, heck. Oh, jeez. Oh, Cameron. Now he's got a chin. Where's Cam- There he is. Why, hello there, Cameron. Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey. As one newcomer Messenger? to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. I is that it? Is this a Scientology church? <laughs> I <laughs> I hope not. Is he in a cult? 
<laughs> we enter into the church building and like, is this a cult? We just instantly ask. Ooh, is this the fair weather? Yep, mayor's residence. So we don't need to walk over and check them out. How many people do we have left to befriend? Uh, we've got three more. I like that it has a little hint label. <laughs> yeah! Uh, can I look at these gravestones? Are there any wacky Easter eggs on the gravestones? Doesn't look like it. No, no gravestone Easter eggs. Okay, we move on then. Have we met the fisherman's son? I don't think so, no. So that would be one of the people that we have to meet still. Is the son of the fisherman. Da, 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 da. Is he out here maybe? You know, with all of the boats? Is the fisherman's son also like a fisher? Fisher, fisher child? Child fish? A, a merman perhaps? I like everybody at their shop time closing, just all leaving the shops at the same time. It looks kind of humorous. Oh, except for Damon here, who is walking along the way to his bar since now it's open. Wait, a cure for what? Huh? Huh? Ales you! Huh? Get it? Cause, cause it's a bar and it's ale? Oh! Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, oh. Still locked. <laughs> Maybe he's at the dock of the bay. We were just down there walking along it and I didn't see anybody. So I don't think that's where he's at. Somewhere else, maybe. Omega LOL! What a knee slapper! Dude, I know. Man. I've got to write that one down so I can use it later. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anyone there that we haven't met. I don't think we've met Violet. Because I do recall that she had the Violet's Violet's shop right here. So we need to meet her. But I guess we'll wait to do that until tomorrow when the shop's open. And it would be a little bit more uh, convenient. You read all of these but skipped the Among Us quest joke? Look, it's because I looked at that and I... Uh, and then I quietly covered it up with some masking tape. And I looked away, disregarding it. Okay, we plant more potatoes! Ho-ha! And then we water them. It's watering time! <laughs> Yay! But how can I get more crops? I would love more, but I don't know- Oh no! I also completely forgot about Grandma's request. She's like, can you get me more firewood? I nod, saying, sure, and then I didn't get any. Is this supposed to be where the barn and the chicken coop were at? How? Did, like, a huge storm roll through or something because the amount that these buildings are destroyed? Holy hell. You're freezing her to death! Grandma's gonna die! No! Oh, Grandma, I'm sorry! I love the rats, the little mice in here. Their ah, ears are just grandma you found the barn. This is it. I went looking for it, but I I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie? Of course and the cow's named Bessie. Bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> and she was. She hexed me. No use crying over spilled milk or a uh barn that got blown down in a storm i suppose oh look i was I right it did get blown over in a storm so does that mean this is yeah the chicken coop well after merlin passed i didn't have a dog to guard the chickens and they kept getting picked off merlin passed hang on my grandfather's oh, merlin do you think we could restore them i'm sure we could oh my but god after that old ranch closed up the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. If Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then <laughs> fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. Imagine though if she said after after Gandalf passed, right? And yeah, I did step on those mice. They might be a little bit squished now, but I think they're they look like they're fine. They're fine. It's 
fine. All right, oh, tell me about the tasks. Nice oh, and dry the wood, and yeah. Ready to burn. She's Thanks. excited to burn Thank the wood. Thank you for doing that for me. She's clapping. No trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Applause oh, from Granny! Yay! Tuckered out. She loves arson. <laughs> teach young girls in the city these days, anyway. If you to be fashionable, come on, check me out. Keep an eye on your energy. You're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old fashioned. The Archon. <laughs> Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. Oh, more bagged Perfect soup, right dude. Up. I love bagged soup. Don't wear yourself out. Eat something from your bag to get some energy back. Do I have to? Maybe we should wait to do that tomorrow so we don't waste all of our energy when it's 9 o'clock at night. Though then again, we did it now and then just quickly did some more wood chopping. Oh, thank goodness that the soup is vegan. Does that mean we could RP our character being vegan? You know, if we got any meat type dish, we'd be like, we can't eat this, we're vegan. Or on the other hand, if there's characters in town that are vegan, that we then wouldn't want to give them any meat-based dish, they'd get upset with us. Oh no, I don't want to chop down the baby tree. I want to wait until it's big and strong. I assume it's for gifting. That's my assumption too, but... Just pour the soup into your pockets? But... I don't think that works. That's why I gotta keep it in the bag, right? Plus it makes it more organized when I've got bagged soup. Can I chop... Can't chop soup? Why not? It's fine? Well, if you say so, chat. I'll, I'll go ahead and try just pouring soup into my pockets the next time then. So if grandma gets some more... Oh, wait, wait. I look up at my energy bar. There's this little teeny tiny baby yellow sliver nearly passing out, but not. I watch grandma while she sleeps. Grandma, grandma. I like Emily comes out. Aha! Pocket bed. soup meme returns. Emily is here. She's ready with the pocket soup. And she starts flicking it out of her own pockets. <laughs> Well, bedtime. It's Wednesday now. This house is kind of small. It's just cozy. <laughs> like a soup sprinkler. <laughs> grandma, she's sick. She's oh, gonna are you die. Really up? No, oh, Grandma. No, it's all the dust in the front room. Oh no, it's just dust. It's <laughs> fine, sweeping chat. makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for. <laughs> Of months now. Oh no. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Yay, it's Would time to dust. Jet. Dust bunnies the front door. There's a broom in my room you can use. I can see it in the background. You wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. I'm so ready to grab a broom and then fly away. Here's here come the witch antics. I'm gonna be sweeping and then magic's gonna happen. Wait, are we gonna find a trap door? Whoa. Yes! Is yes! Actual trap door? Jeez, Grandma, what are you keeping down there? Grandma, are you so keeping skeletons the in the cellar? The rug. Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Would you be It's out not important! Tonight? She's Probably a killer. I, could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. Psycho See, my grandma. My moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and... You'll find what you need. <laughs> Not like suspicious at all. I, at my age, it's awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you put the rug back in place? Yes, uh, Grandma, but... Uh... Are you brewing mooch? Oh my god. Down there? Grandma, do you have a drug mooch. workshop in the mm, basement? Are you doing drugs? That tea. Am I going to have to call the police? By the way, hello there, Nyx Avon, and welcome. Hello, hi. 
<laughs> Granny's meth empire. Are you Al Capone? Oh, Granny is holding many secrets. Grandma? Grandma. Oh, no, I forgot to water my potatoes. Hang on, hang on. And Lost Wits. Hello, welcome. How goes the flower game? Excellently. Look at me. I am a master farmer. Check out my potatoes. These here spuds right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She's gonna take that next election. No, 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 no. She can't put herself out in the forefront, say. She has to play it up behind the scenes as shadow mayor. So she's actually got the mayor of the town already in her pocket. She just pays him off, you know? Hang on. Jewelry box. Okay, we've already met Francis. Check. We've already met Angus. He's the baker. Already met the mayor. But Violet... Oh my god, the way he walks. I love the mayor. God damn it. Mayor. With his arms raised up as you're just like... Meet everyone game? Oh, yes. After all, that idea won me third place in the icebreaker innovation category at the annual what? mayoral convention. Congratulations. What? Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. <laughs> but you mentioned it. By the way, thank you, Nix, for following. Also appreciate it. All right, here we go. What? Wait, I didn't want... Oh, uh, oh my okay, gosh, I see. You gotta be Tara. Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's I really sweet. like her, too. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Oh, hell yeah, I'll do that, Violet. I, I really like all the characters that they have. They're all so great. See? See, look at her. I want to woo her. Mom says you two were friends when you were little. Pardon? Well, I was trying to talk to the older, other kid, dude. So she kind of used to babysit me. Oh, like Julia does with us. It's not a bad hustle. She gets paid hustle? to play Excuse with us. Hustle? Excuse me? <laughs> this kid has already got mind on the money. You, kid. This is who I want to talk to. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. Cute so, kid. Um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Just okay. interrupting class for gossip. Yeah, I just walk in and just try to teach these kids. And I'm like, hello there, teacher. I'm here to talk to the children's. I have to make sure I meet everybody in town. Juliet is just me. Just younger. There's a Juliet. Now where's Romeo? Maybe he's not here yet. You have to go find the Romeo. And then I think there's only then one more person that we gotta meet, yeah? Okay, we walk past Parker's shop. The Fisher kid is named Romeo, I'm calling it. Imagine, I grabbed the mushroom. Okay. Hang on, quest check. Return to- oh, apparently I still need to talk to Grandma. Steeped in mystery. Okay, we have to wait until we- uh, it's nighttime for that moonflower part anyway, so we actually need to go run back to our house so we can talk to Grandma for that wooden quest. Though, we can also go run around and talk to everybody in town. We do still need to find that last person, after all. Nailed it, huh? Vegetable patch or tool shed? A vegetable patch requires 50 dirts, 5 iron, and 50 wood. So we can't even do this one at all until we unlock the mine that we've gotten in our house, I assume. Unless we're able to buy iron. Then that would put it a little bit differently. Mmm, yummy Amanita. <laughs> yeah! More of that, please! It's you, Kako. You just have to look in a mirror. Uh, I start sweating nervously. Wait, you have a quest for me, Sophia? Gimme, 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 gimme. I love oh, doing quests. Just who I was hoping to see. Who? Me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. Nonsense. Why? Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. A devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love. 
but I also baked to win. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. <laughs> a, a pivalry, if you will. <laughs> there we go. Um, with it being a key lime tart, though, I think I think I would heavily be on that side. I'm 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 pretty pro key lime. Man, I can't even see the cat at this angle. God dang it. I'm cheated out of cat experience. You gotta eat that pie? Oh, heck. Oh, jeez. I couldn't. I couldn't possibly try eating this. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> you got to see the cool old man, though. Silver lining. Yeah, that is true. It did give me a good old man angle. I like that the beach leaves footprints for both myself and other characters. Hang on, this is an area I haven't been. Old man, where are you going? Ocean view countryside. I want the shell. Oh heck, oh dang, tripped and fell and the whole tart went in my mouth. Oops, god damn, what a shame. All right, gotta get ready for D&D &D part two. Okay, Dagnardio, have a good D&D. <laughs> now I've got the conch shell. And now I'm going to throw it at people's faces whenever I walk over to meet them. I'm, uh, I'm going to say, hey, listen to this. You can hear the ocean. And then when they put it up to their ear, I smack it against their face. For a split second, I was so excited to see this crab. And I was going to uh, reach down, grab it, shove it into my pockets shouting, hell yeah, look, I've got a crab now. But I can't, I can't, I can't grab the crab. There is no surprise conch attack on the crab and I can't surprise crab attack other people. What's even the point, man? Why even continue playing if I can't have co pocket crabs, you know? Oh. Hi, Shelby. I know what you must be thinking. Why does old Shelby live in the woods? No, uh, well, it's it's really pretty no? and it, it's quiet. You live in the woods? Don't patronize me, Missy. Truth is, there are riches here the untrained eye can't see. You Shelby, a, a treasure hunter? And I'll pay you fairly for your troubles. I don't mind helping you out. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> I'm a hermit. Not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. My Come on, Shelby's a treasure old, hunter. He's wealthy. My mind's as sharp as a... Mm, is, I, yeah, as sharp as a... <laughs> Shelby's very Donald. senile. Silly. This isn't a Young forest. No respect for their <laughs> He's a train hobo. <laughs> I knew that was his aesthetic. Yeah, he does look like a train hobo. Why does Kaka want crabs? Because crabs are cool. Come on. They got their little pinchers. They go snip, snip, snip. There's definitely nothing else associated with crabs except the animal. But hello there, Pope. Hey, welcome. Hope Hi. you're doing well. I'm Tara, Hazel Wild's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yeah, yes. that's when I would egg your house. And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. <laughs> I you're didn't Thomas, anyway. Right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean. <laughs> your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving <laughs> Thomas is very serious. Picture. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Um, Thomas is a, a little bit of an ass. I just walk over and I'm like, this place has a really nice view. And he's like, I'm not selling. And I'm like, um, okay. By the way, you better learn how to help out your grandmother quickly. Or else you're going to be a miserable failure. And you're going to make her die. And it's going to be all your fault. Now get out of my sight, kid. I don't think Thomas likes me, no. He's probably got a lot to deal with. Maybe, but still. <laughs> I'm crying. He's harsh. Looks like Thomas is going to be the first conch attack victim. Oh, Thomas. Thomas, come here a moment to listen to my shell. Did I water my crumbs as well? Okay, I did water my potatoes. Grandma! 
Grandma. Hi, Grandma. I've got those plant. What's with this swirly? What was See, that the one quest I have from the other person? You need when Pie? Your energy is low and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. How about your Grandma, magic? You're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah. Is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? <laughs> Did nope. Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. Is Grandma like Mr. Krabs over stove. here and then uh, <laughs> Sophia is plankton? <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial oh, to bolded. risotto. Oh, Bolden. Maybe he's not selling, but he might not notice stealing. Hmm, I take his crops. How about some of that basement meth? Maybe that's why her cooking is so good. She adds a uh, special ingredient, and it isn't love. I need some rice in order to make this risotto, though. So we're gonna have to go buy it, apparently. You'll need to go. That's Moonflower Quest. But how do I give you the pie? Oh, there we go. Pie to give to you. There's the bagged pie. Apple? What? How? But she said key lime. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. Did Sophia lie when she gave me the pie? She handed it to me and was like, "Ha ha! Perfect key lime tart." But but then I give it to Grandma and she's like, "Hmm, apple." Those are not the same type of pie, like, at all? Hmm? I mean, it's love, but a different type of love? Is meth love? So, if you give someone a meth-filled needle, and then they inject it, that's kind of like they're injecting your love into them, right? Hmm. Hmm. Does that mean Tara is Pearl's daughter? Hmm. Not grandma made the perfect key lime tart. The pie you got was her response. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. I just got mixed up then. Hi, Kate. Oh, such a pretty girl. I love Kate. Injecting their love into them. Not a phrase I thought I'd hear today. While I also didn't expect my grandmother to be There's making meth, so we're both surprised. This beloved tree be old as the town itself. What plaque? I don't see any plaque. I'm being lied to. All right. Oh, there's Juliet. Just you know, hanging out in the woods as you do as a child in small town. The cat is the witch. Like, Raven? So if I befriend Cat, I'm befriending Raven. Alright? That that just gives me more incentive to befriend Cat, if that's the case. I rub my hands together, planning out romance with Raven. I mean, you can inject love into people in Space Station, but don't be weird about it. And it's true, because uh, pure love is a chem. Hmm... Uh, hello? What, what? Who's there? Did they not hear me? Do they I not care? We shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the no, 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 no. Definitely spy on them, Tara. Don't leave. Don't leave. Keep watching. It's the cult. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me. I'm coming. Ooh, Grandma. Grandma. Uh, where did she go? Gaius. She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Bah, it's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Ooh, Tara here so mobs. she could skulk around like she's... Doing something wrong just by being who she I'm is. I'm shocked. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh-oh. 
<laughs> so now we're gonna go back and sit down in the rocking chair back at home. And then Grandma's gonna walk in and... Then they hear that, you know, become witch! Can't wait! Du -du 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 -du. Well, now we're gonna sit on our rocking chair back at home. Grandma's gonna walk through the door. I'm gonna have my arms crossed holding the moonflower and be like, Grandma, so I, I, I went to go pick the flowers. It must have been the wind. All right. Lone Viking. Hello, welcome, and Faux Romano. Hi, hello. She teleported back already. Grandma, what the frick? I guess she is witch. So, it... wrong. All right. I sit in chair and I wait for grandma. Grandma, grandma, I know what you've been doing out in the woods. Is grandma not going to show up? All right. Well, grandma, I'm going to go ahead and expend my extra energy to chop some more wood while I wait. Keeping an eye out for you. Or do you think grandma is going to stay out past her bedtime? Because now she's got witch activities she has to take care of first. So we're going to end up having to go to bed before she even gets home. And then I'll wake up in the morning and I'll walk out to grandma and be like, So grandma, never saw you come home last night. Kind of stayed out pretty late, didn't you? Don't chop the tree! I want to chop the other one. There we go. Quickly, we can go down the meth basement. Boom! I'm all out of strength. I could eat some boo to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. Okay. Well, it won't let me pass out. It just cuts me off then. <laughs> chop this! Pants grab, chop this one! Wait! Wait! Hang on, wait, no, don't do that as I'm like walking over with the butcher knife. Uh, if you want me to chop that when I, I can. Ready for bed? I am absolutely ready for bed. Good night. Good night, chat. We're sleeping. <laughs> chop this pain scrap. <laughs> yes, that one. Yeah, here we go. Whooshing. <laughs> Yay. So, Grandma, never saw you come home last night. Hmm. Mm. Ow! <laughs> Grandma, so uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma. <laughs> Grandma oh, does big yeah, smile. Some tea would really hit the spot. Grandma? <laughs> Grandma, we need to have a conversation about the cult that I saw. I think we should have some tea, granddaughter. Ye big smile. She's quest gating you. God dang it, Grandma. I guess then that's what the swirl is for the next part of the quest, huh? Uh, tea. Restorative tea. Oh, look, I have the ingredients already. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Classic witch tactic to quest gate, huh? All right. Here you go, Grandma. I made the tea. Now spill it. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, you make a very... If I spiked brew. the tea, I do Here's want her to drink it. key to the basements that you asked about. What? But the hooded strangers... What? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. See what lies beneath the trap door under the rug. Chet, it's time to check out Grandma's meth kitchen. After a bathroom break, because boy howdy, I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back, Chet. I'm going to go ahead and play an ad to kick down the pre-rolls for half an hour at the same time. I'll be right back. Be right back, Chet. Like, go ahead and go somewhere if you too want to take a bathroom break or if you want to go grab a drink or something, you know? Go wild. Okay. Be right back.
Ah, all right, I am back. And hi, Mortis, hi, welcome. Cat goes just taking a break, or is she done for today? I am indeed just taking a break. I was just peeing. That is what the floods were. I apologize. I didn't realize I needed to go so badly. It It's pretty rough out there now. And Alec Inc., hello, welcome. And yes, go next. I try to be welcoming and open to newcomers. So, uh, hi, welcome. Yes, yes, yes. I'm always excited when I see new people come in and are like, make a comment <clears throat> as they come along. And it's like, oh, new person, hello. Exciting. And if you would like to as well, we do have a Discord that you can join. Uh, or not. That's that's up to you. As I... Do I not have? I have like TTS and sub, but I don't have a Discord. Eh. If you want to join that as well, you can or not. Up to you. I don't know if you have heard of Space Station 13 at all, but they are, that is an additional thing that we kind of... I don't want to explicitly say do as a community, but Space Station 13 is just general game that is a multiplayer experience. And occasionally we'll kind of kind of hop on and play it together. So we'll be like, eh, SS13 players! And then it'll be a case that you can then join the round with other people in the community. And maybe loosely play together, depending on your uh, jobs. And we also do a what? This is also in general for everyone else to know too, that we do watch parties on today's, on Sundays at four o'clock central time that we do for about three hours and we change around what content we watch. Uh, we have watched all of Moomin Valley. We watched through Trigun, and we have watched through both uh, the two seasons of Mob Psycho, and we have also just watched miscellaneous YouTube videos, and since last week we just finished watching Mob Psycho, this week, today, we have to decide on what we want to watch, whether it is another break from watching a series and we watch the YouTube videos, or we do watch, like, since it's October, scary horror movie, who knows, we have to decide! Cute art. It really is. Otter, I love all of the different fan art people have drawn for me. It's great. I love looking at it. I like having it. And I made sure to, to, though, I, Twitchy is, Hexy is, is technically out of date name wise, but I, I put everybody down too for who did what piece of art as well because I want to make sure everyone receives credit because I care about the people that did the art too, not just the art itself. I used to scare my younger brother by making the groke noises. Amazing. Kako, it's time we should watch the scariest content of all, the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX English dub. God damn hell. I'll forever be out of date. Dude, that's like most people would chat. Am I right? <laughs> ah, all right. We return to wildflowers. Eh. I'm pausing the game and going down into the basement. Wee. Uh, slowly. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh. Is that a cauldron? cauldron? Not just the meth cauldron, pot. Your cauldron. My meth what? pot? Oh, no, no, I'm not. A I don't make witch. meth. Oh, my dear. Is yes, that what they are. call meth makers no now? No lay person could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You do you now? Cauldron, oh. Of course. Wait, wait. Is Dad a witch or, or, or it was or, Merlin? Or, what do you think? Arthur? Oh, no, uh, no, what? honeybee. Wait, he's more Arthur conventional, I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. 
But the coven you can't needs cook meth like that without being a witch, sweet pea. You. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh, kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Yes! 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 We get to make our own wand? Hit. Achievement unlocked. It's not moonshine. Grandma says Thank this you. is my cauldron, but I better wait until I've learned how to use it. Oh, come on. You want to make the meth. Come on. We love making meth here. So who is Raven? Raven is evil. Yeah, we're not sure who Raven is yet. Mysterious. Unknown. A wand! I got my wand right here, pants scrub! Not that kind of wand! So they're not saying it isn't meth. No, I haven't said that yet. I just still got the cauldron. Still got some spooky mix in it there. Mysterious witch that couldn't pass the brambles. Does it have to be Hazel specifically in order to move the brambles? And the cultists, you know, they all wait around the brambles for what, uh, Hazel to open it up for them? That I'm not entirely sure of because... Or if you have to be part of the cultist posse in order to remove them? Undetermined. Meth is just magic power given physical form. I know who Raven is! They're the star of that famous sitcom! Everybody uh, loves Raven! See. The inscription oh, says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. That's pretty simple. That was a big sheet of paper for just a little sentence. I mean, uh, uh, uh oh, thanks, magic tree. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to break a branch off or something, but no. I guess the tree just keeps a supply of magic wands up in its boughs and it just ends me down one. Hey, yeah, I've been storing this for you, the tree says. Oh, uh, okay. A wand dealer. Oh, uh, wand dealer. Give me your strongest wand. I don't think I could handle it. I mean, if I was a magic tree, I would also wait for the magic word. Please. It is the most powerful of the magic words. It's true. Tree, here you go. You can have my wood. The tree winks at me. I look back at the tree. How does a tree even wink? Stop flirting with me, tree. Stop. Oh, dick. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Grandma, the tree was being weird. Hey, girl, want to see my wand? Grandma! Grandma! Is your wand ready? Yes. Look. Da -da 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 -da. Careful where you point that thing. Oh, my, you have a lot to learn. It's like if I just was like, Grandma, look, I got it's my gun, and I whipped it out and it was just flinging it around all over the place. Are you ready to go? It looks like an ordinary stick. I think that's the idea. Sure. Let's go. Given a okay. get by the tree. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through. Careful where you point so your wood, this dear. Incantation helps it to identify you. Once it mm. meets you, it'll know you're a friend. And oh, so Raven is not a friend. Say mm. the spell when you're ready. Oh, hang on. Raven isn't nearby to steal the catchphrase, right? Uh-oh. Hey, hey, Grandma, is this a good time to talk about potatoes? Here's my wand right here, Granny. Cabin, pulls out a Glock. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Imagine though, if I did go over to the tree and was like, "Tree, I'm worked. here for my wand," well and then the tree just gave now, me a gun. Head on up. 
I'm ready to cast magic, I say, pulling out my pistol. Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh, you've got to be properly introduced. Ooh. Camera spins. Uh, hi, Who cultists! The sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the high priestess of this coven. Before I like you your mask! Us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Huh? Not yet. What the frick? First, you must cast the initiation right. Oh, okay. I'm not um, even a witch yet, dude. But how do I? How do I do that? Speak to the. <laughs> this farming game took a turn. <laughs> He'll explain the art of incantations. <laughs> Wee! We're magic now. Steeped in mystery. I've been rewarded with a uh, potion blueprint. Yep, harvest potion. I love the design of it. The little apple cork is cute. <laughs> You're not magic yet, loser. Oh, I have to make my first meth potion. How can it be a secret if there are huge spinning tree is in the middle of the woods? Or there is a huge spinning tree in the middle of the woods? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like a town this small would be able to pick up somewhere at some point that something's going on, right? The grandma's just been waltzing out here without her cloak or mask, so... You're gonna steal business away from Thomas? Hmm... Are you the Farseer? What? Mm. Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. No, a nearsighted Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You've no idea who I am. I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> you want to see... This is like a superhero situation here. You, wanna <laughs> you can't tell who I am. Stop <laughs> it. Great. I've, I've got a mask on! of incantations. <laughs> mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up. And there won't be much left of you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh -huh. Great. Uh -huh. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? what? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. What the frick? How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. <laughs> Put it in your tool shed. One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. <laughs> he really has. Oh my god. Oh, I fuck more wood chopping. Get ready, Chet. Well, all right. I guess it's time to get into the printing business. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, your magicalness. High Priestess works fine, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, High Priestess. Melody, hi, hello. How long has this coven been in Fairhaven? Witches have always been drawn here, and because of that, the coven has been here for many, many generations. Uh, been here as long as the island has, then, maybe? <laughs> hey, welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. What? Every night. What? Oh. I would just address everyone as, hey, you, screw titles. Hey, you. I welcome you to this gathering. That's it. Hey, you can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet you. But I'm not supposed to speak to you much yet. I'm squinting at her purple flowers on her mask. Very smarmy wizards and witches. A little bit. I mean, if the shops close down at the certain hour, can you follow the certain members that start to walk to the witch area? You know, I probably could. Yeah. 
Uh, that really is what anyone around could do too. Listen to you know, figure prayer. out that they're all witches meeting up out here. <laughs> Stand outside of people's houses and wait for them to exit their homes in their cloaks and masks. The cat is Raven. It really does seem like that's going to be the case, yeah. That's why I have to befriend the cat, though. 22 people in town. At least six are in the coven. That's like over 25% of the island. The huge witch population, and they're concerned about not being accepted. Come on, guys. Most of you are magic here. The witches fly into the woods even. You know, they don't even go. They, they exit their houses with their brooms. They fly over in front of the forest and then they change. You just have to wait outside for a little while and then you can find out who's who. Mm, but I'm hello sleepy. there, Kay Jackie. Welcome. Hey. Uh, cat is too close to the brambles. You'd think then the cat raven would know what their secret slogan is for sneaking in, huh? Good morning! Oh, good. Da, 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 da. You're up. The mayor's Grandma. called a town meeting this morning. We should get eh? down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. A fuss about this time? Does Grandma not like the mayor? Ah, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. Follow Grandma to the town hall for me. Oh, hang on, you you keep I going, Grandma. Follow grandma to the town hall. No, 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 no. We're going. We're gonna water. Dang it! I can't water the crops. Fine, I'm following Grandma. All right, Grandma, let's get moving. Oh, wow, look at her shuffle. Grandma's really moving her feet. Except even me, at casual pace, walk faster than she does. Grandma doesn't like Otto, the lovable mayor. Mmm, doesn't seem like it. Seems like a grandma is squinting over it. What if the mayor is anti-witch? What if that's the reason she doesn't really like the mayor very much? Grandma, can I just pick you up and carry you over to the town hall? Settle down, everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings on. In our beloved town of Even Fairhaven, though this has been going on for decades, at work in generations. our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Twenty-five oh, percent of the population like starts sweating. Going. Me neither. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah, and folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset. Yes, Ooh. yes, good. You know exactly yes. what I'm talking about. Wait, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this. No matter the cause, we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for roustabouts and uns. You can tell types. which one's which by the way they respond here, by the way. Sharp eye out for signs of mischief. And if you see anything, report it to me. Or me, if you'd prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I it, never. It makes it sound a little bit like Vanessa business. might be raving there too. Mm. In my head is mm. more like it. Him and his fancy britches wife standing mm. up there and casting judgment on others. Uh oh. Grandma, you're even better than I thought. Aren't you casting judgment on them too? Tell people to spy on their neighbors, to be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe I mean, you we were sneaking around, weren't make you? Everyone be nice to each other. I wish it were that simple. But just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Why? Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due, and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here. Take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? No, oh, heavens no. But if you've got the means to give them a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Grandma wants you to grow beans to help Thomas meet an order. Uh, of course there's the little problem that I don't really have any garden space available right now. Judgment is a paladin spell. Doesn't that make him magical then too? Gasp! 
Grandma, I've been, um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. And how it was Just huge? bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. I mean, what everything's we work, you know? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. Which I would that love, because that means more farming. A compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm I have been doing a lot of wood chopping. So first we need to make that compost bin, eh? I love witch hunting! Yeah, I love the neighborhood watch now! Yahoo! When do we make millions? I mean, we just have to start selling. It'll be slow labor to work our way there, but we will one day. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. Plus, after the witches and wizards thing. With my hands as he was, I gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. Oh, so you're if saying I should abandon farming and go into crafts making, eh? Prince to all his tools right here. Thanks, well, I need a printing press I'm not first. Sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us. Yay! I mean, if you look at the population of the island, given the children who can't vote, the cult has some serious voting power. They could just have one of them run for mayor and bang, bang, boom. You know that? That's not wrong. Why? Why hasn't that been one of their strategies, huh? Now, one of these things is one that I actually want. The other three I can't use at the moment. And that would be the fermentation barrel. Oh. Takes iron. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Paper press only takes wood. So we'll just stick it in the back corner right there. Oh, attractive. Cute. <laughs> Moonshine time. If only. I love me some alcohol. Wow, I can make boo in this game we are dealers yeah we're gonna turn the tool shed here into the meth shack i can't wait okay we got some paper that's one paper that's a two paper now we might need to chop some more wood for that compost bin how exactly do we make compost bin is it at this blueprint table it is oh oh and I've already got enough wood for it to- wait. Do I not have enough money? Oh. I look up at my cash cha-ching coins in the top left corner. Zero. I can't afford the compost bin. Sad. <laughs> you poor. Oh, stop! <laughs> poor let no! I, I just have to sell something. Look, I'm just going to take the soup that grandmother made for me and I'll just go sell it to Sophia. Off I go. And, and then that'll show you. That's going to be 50 coins. I'm going to take 10 of it. And I'm going to throw it right in your face. That soup was a gift. Yeah, a gift for my pockets. So poor she has to sell her own bag soup. Oh, yeah. I wanted to eat that soup, but in order to get the money so that I can put up the compost bin, we have to sell it. Yay, free money! Thank you, Gacko! Dang it, you're supposed to get upset by that hitting you! My plan backfired! Time to wood chop, loggers. Yeah, I guess we're all gonna need to do a little bit more of that because we're going to need more wood. That way we can put up more little garden spots. All right, Sophia, I'm here to sell my pockets I could also sell the apple pie. Hang on. Oh, I guess the apple pie probably takes some eggs and milk to make it then, yeah? That's why it doesn't qualify as being vegan. What? Hang on. Didn't grandma say that she got some fresh milk in order to make this cream of mushroom soup? With emphasis, I'm placing on cream. Wouldn't that make this mushroom soup non-vegan? 
if it's using milk in it? Is... Has this been illegally labeled as being vegan? It, not vegan! Not vegan! Grandma is trying to run a stadium! Coconut milk? I don't know that they have coconut milk here. Not if it's human milk. Uh oh. Uh. Wait, no. If the cow gives consent, it's vegan. Maybe grandma can talk to animals. Except grandma isn't the one who milked the cow. She bought that milk to make the soup. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we didn't want to go into the tool shed. We need to come over to this blueprint table for the compost bin. Which I apparently have to put down in my garden patch. I would like it more, you know, up against the fence wall or something. But okay, there it is, right there. We've made our compost bin. Now we have to get a little bit of compost. What do we put in here? Okay, I can put weeds in there. That is one weed to make dirt. <laughs> then we have to wait 24 hours in order to get the... The one soil. One day we'll be able to have some more spots for plant. One move for consent, two moves for no consent. Cow, good morning. Please tell me, is it okay if I milk you today? Moo. Ha ha, great. The coconut is not far-fetched of an idea. No, no, but I, I feel like she probably was not referring to coconut milk. Grandma bought the milk. That means it's capitalist pig milk, Fuzzy. She bought it to make the soup. Great Capitalism, job. stop! Now we just need to fill it with weeds and let it work its magic. Check. Then we can done. start making garden beds. I've done it. So we're going to need three bits of soil in order to make the three garden spots. So we're going to need to collect some more weeds. Are there any more weeds out here on my own farmland that I'm able to collect? We're also going to want to chop some more wood. Well, I got so much of that, so we'll go ahead and expend our energy. Hiya! I need filled with weed too. All right, we just gotta get some growing. And then you can have some weed too. Who else wants, who else in chat wants some weed? Yay, we'll have a weed party. It'll go great with the meth when we get that rolling too. Oh, since we've got a paper mill. Hey. What if we also started growing some tobacco and then we could start rolling some cigarettes? How can we get our hands on some nicotine? Wait, what if we put meth in the cigarettes? Can you smoke meth like that? Will that get people addicted? Can we use that as a nicotine alternative for getting people hooked? Mm. But we're printing our own propaganda. You know, that's not a bad idea. Maybe, maybe we can get people on the witch's side by offering them drugs. No, that kills people, Kako. Okay, okay, okay. Idea number two, then. What if we offer the meth cigarettes to our enemies? Yeah? So anyone who is anti-witch will just look over, give them a little smile, and say, Hey, you wanna smoke? Hey, hmm? Looking around. We got a couple of weeds now. Kako out here breaking bad. This entire time, you never realize that the breaking bad people? Also all wizards and witches. Crack co scares me. Heh, <laughs> crack co. <laughs> Look out! My drug com uh, counterpart. The crack cocaine. Crack caco cane. Caco crack. However combination you want to do it. Crack Co. Probably the best, though. So, it's still only 7 o'clock. Jeez, here I am thinking it's getting late and I 
take a glance up at the time, and it's only seven. Look at this poor lighthouse, though. Oh, wait! Dude, free blueberries. Oh, man. Don't mind if I do. Now, if only I could gather up some seeds from them, and then I could just grow blueberries back on my farm. That would be great. This isn't where blueberries grow. Well, apparently it is, and you're... <laughs> Hashtag unrealistic! Stop! Don't say that! The witches will get mad at you! Come on, man. They might cast their hexes and the like. Hang on, we did see one of the kids earlier with a phone, yeah? Do you think any of the other townspeople have phones and participate in witch talk? So here you've got witch talk filled with... 100% real, not fake witches? And then you have a couple of 100% real, not fake witches. Wow, time to bed. I'm so tired. Z, 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 z. <sighs> oh, I should have put the rest of my god dang weeds in the bin. Well, too late. Maybe those are boo berries and not blueberries now. It's funny when you spell it like that, though, because then you can kind of read it as boob berries. Mm. They have reception on the island? Yeah, we've got our own cell towers, obviously. Okay, no quest stuff from Grandma right now. I, oh. Oh. Well, I have to wait until this finishes making my one dirt anyway but i can't harvest my potatoes now <laughs> yay but just the one because this one was planted a day later or a day or two later i do like that when you examine them it does have a little chart showing how long it has left until it's done growing quite convenient rather than just guessing and you ponder and you go i think i planted it on this day so i think it has this much time remaining <laughs> Not in wildflowers. It just straight tells you. I sprinkle the beans into the ground. Watered and done. Eat the nightshade. Do not eat the nightshade! But what if I want to eat the potato flowers? What if I love potato flowers? Don't chop the tree! Stop it! You spilled the beans, Kaku! Oh my god, I did spill the beans! I spilled them all over the dirt patch! And now we're gonna get a bunch of spilled bean plants! Oh no! My beans! You know, nightshade are in the same family as tomato. That's true. But tomatoes, totally fine to eat. Other nightshade plants, maybe not so much. Maybe, maybe you glance over to them and say, I think I'll pass on that nightshade tea, thank you. Hang on. And then phrasing it like, nightshade tea. What do you suppose tomato tea uh, it tastes like? Because it wouldn't be quite the same as just, you know, juicing a tomato. Because that's not what you do with tea. <laughs> like a potato. <laughs> Natalia! I've like barely oh, talked to you! Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. Yeah, I know. Well, my great-grandpa was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course, he died before I was born. But it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah. I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's hard it was just in my desk, blood. It's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. So even though her grandfather was a blacksmith, she didn't really pick it up until later on. Again, blacksmithing in the blood. When Natalia is not speaking her head, seems to be lacking thoughts. She just wants to hit hammer on stone. He died before I was born, but his ghost haunts this hammer and possesses me to make dark crafts. So I've got that. Uh, excuse me, Natalia. Uh, <laughs> Hang hey, on, can you repeat girl. that? How's farm life treating you so far? 
I'm still figuring everything out. Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one thing, but sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. He says while having an absolutely monumentally sized emerald. Wait! Enhance. Is that a chaos emerald? Is that it? Is that the one? Can I can I steal it and chaos control ourselves around the island? <laughs> nice zoom in right on the booty. I <laughs> Shrek, that's on you! I was trying to enhance for the chaos emerald! Why were you looking at her booty? Hang on, I'm now also looking at Angus's picture in the background. For a moment, too, I thought the guy on the left wasn't wearing a shirt and he just had on his blue jacket. Oh my god, frick that emote. God dang it. Wow. God dang it. Not that one, frick, no! <laughs> Terrible! Awful. Oh no. Wait, there was an emerald in that shot? Didn't notice. God dang it, Duke. If you ever have extra baked goods to sell, let me know. I'm always happy to mix things up for my customers. That... That's all you had to say? We talk over to Natalia and get this whole fancy history about her, like, her being a blacksmith and the grandfather being a black... But him, he's just kind of like, yeah, just let me know, bye! I place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Alright, I think I time. might be changing my opinion no, on her. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor, the fairy always ran on time. Oh. Hey, do you have her any dad, huh? going on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of... How do you feel about thistles? I did collect some moonflowers! Out of thistles? Thistles? <laughs> Look, if you don't want them, did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. Okay, interesting comment then. Is that that means before her dad, I'm assuming died, went away, whatever that then a non-magical person became in charge of the town, and that's why now they're having issues with new mayor who's like, aha, let's go witch hunt, I mean cult hunting, I mean the, the secret searching. Fortunately, I've already got plenty of thistles for her. Here you so, are, Violet. Anything I can put in my bouquets? <laughs> Muggles are ruining the economy! Stress no more, I found just the thing. See? They're pretty. Yes. She lies. Those will do nicely. <sighs> it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. They get the mansion? So if you become mayor, you get the mansion? But now we've got tulip bulbs! Now we can grow some tulips! Oh, what? Exciting. Making acquaintances! Did someone say Chaos Emerald's knuckle? Yes, this jewelry shop has one. Give it to me! Why did Shadow say give like that? Give it to me! He missed the S on knuckles, unfortunately, though, so it was just Shadow reading it all out. So it's kind of like Shadow is just talking to himself. <laughs> but the red burning king, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Hey, yo, let's run for the mayor. That way we can get a free mansion, dude. Hell yeah. So we can keep an eye out for her around the island at different times and something special might happen. I think the idea here that it's telling us is it's saying that we will get friendship events around the town. I like the way that it describes it here because it makes it almost more of a like 
the slide-in tutorial method, where they're kind of like, hey, just, you know, something might happen, rather than outright saying it. It's kind of, kind of a fun little tease. But after that interaction, it's... I've been pointing over at the first lady, like, wow, if only I could date her! And then we kind of get a little glimpse at what she's like, and it's, uh, hmm, maybe not. Oh, Kim! Hi, Kim! Hi! So, you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you know anything about farming? I'm not learning! A little bit. Oh, don't sweat it. I would only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? Not really. Oh. Well, good luck. <laughs> Kim's reaction is like, uh, oh, uh, awkward. Well, good luck with that. See you later, I guess. <laughs> I wish I had friendship events. Oh my god. Oh my god. Little did we know it was always Shadow all along. Whenever we've done text to speech, we think it's always been knuckles and shadow when in reality it's only been shadow this entire time but now i'm picturing the friendship events imagine if you did do that you you decided like you made out this little list of things that you can do with people when you become better friends with them Well, I think you've just reached, you know, two hearts with me, so it's time for an event. Oh my god, wild peanut chat. I got one. Now we can have some peanut butter. Just with the one peanut. Look, it's him. There he is. This is the first game with a butcher that's not a jolly fat man. No. Just a young hip person. Very cool. Peanuts are a powerful crop. Now I just need to go plant it in my crop garden. Now, excuse me, Shelby. How what's up? Uh, Fairhaven, Shelby. Yeah. Long enough to know I prefer the peace and quiet of the woods to town. That's true, though. There is allergies, too. For a visit, though. She knows when to take her leave without needing a hint. Oh, okay. I, he stares um, directly yes, at I'll me. Be on my way. I, I came over, you're like, hi, Shelby! And he's like, yeah, and you know something I like about Grandma? Is she knows when I want to be the fuck alone. And then he looks directly into my eyes. And I'm like, oh, 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 awkward. I guess I'll leave it to yourself then. Oh, bye, Shelby. <laughs> Need a more powerful axe so I can start deforesting nature out here. There's too many trees for my taste. I want it to be a little bit more level. I am now curious if it is accurate to say that the cat is Raven or if the mayor's wife is the one who is Raven and they've just, you know, nicknamed her for now. That way you don't know it's... Though then I would imagine they would have used multiple question marks, right? A more powerful peach. <laughs> Please! What else do we have? Ooh! Ah, so we only have the bridge up at the top left now for exploring. See, this is something I like, too, about Wildflowers, is that its map is not gigantic. Because sometimes, even though a, a farming sim might tease you and be like, look at all of the area you have to explore, is that it just kind of makes it then a chore to be wandering around all over the place, you know? To do from bud to spud. Take the potatoes to ga uh, grandma! I almost read that as gamma. Gamma rays! Grandma rays! And then we have to give the paper to Farseer, but that won't be until nighttime. Return- Oh, we never returned to Mayor Soft for our prize, did we? I guess we should do that then. Here's a museum. That means we need to go up a floor. <laughs> Bud, you smoking those taters? Dude, if I can smoke it, you better believe I'm gonna try smoking it at least once. Hi, Violet! Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but- What? I can set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my what? brother Hang goes on. to school. That's so nice. Hold up. 
How old is the Take little Take it guy? back a step. 16. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? Alright, I'll be honest. I like when other people make me snacks, too. She's a phony! A big, fat phony! Here I thought since she was working in the flower shop that she liked the flowers! No! Imagine doing a job you don't like just for money. <laughs> but it's more than just doing a job you don't like. It's the fact that she owns the flower shop. Imagine starting a business for something you don't like. Hi there, Bruno Soft. If you can't find me oh. at my stall, I'll be by the lake in the forest. Or the beach. Anywhere I can cast my line. Well, and Damon's Pub. But all I catch there is grief from Otto for staying out too late. <laughs> Oh, Bruno. But no, Bruno Soft. That means the fisherman's son is the mayor. Hmm. Hmm. So can I get that fishing quest now? Your grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. But how can you see fish if they're underwater? <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Um, is that potatoes? Is that a witch Here, reference? Rod. Magic reference? Keep your eyes peeled whenever you're near water for the shadows of swimming fish. When you see them near the surface like that, you know they're feeding. Trick is to get one yeah, we're of the obsessed nibble on with your potatoes, hook it seems of the like. Bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Now, you're not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one, and then you reel it in. Wait, 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 back up. How do I cast Dude, my Dude, I've literally You'll never fished? The lake in the forest is a nice place to start. Uh, Imagine somebody just care, explaining yeah. to you how to Don't fish exactly, sunset. but doesn't I've show you. Things, well, you wouldn't believe me. My boy Otto didn't either till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. Okay, it actually sounds like then Bruno does not know about the magic things if he's talking about, hey, we've seen some spooky happenings at night, and I showed them to Otto as well. So, that means him, Bruno, right here, not magic. So I think his, like, your grandma hasn't showed you? No, nothing from grandma is just a, you don't know about fishing yet then? I'd love for one of these games to have very on-the-nose names like Art or Taylor, but put them in different jobs. Taylor is a miner who has a really bad fashion sense, and Art is the baker. That would be pretty good. Do a sort of a... What'd you call it? A subversion on the naming puns? Pun names? And Gert, hello, welcome! Witchin? More like bitchin? Oh, hell yeah! Check me out. See, my one eyebrow slightly more raised than the other. I, the bitch witch, witch bitch, bitch and witch. Look out, I'm coming through. If I could jump up into the air and do a little kick, I'd be doing it right now. So just go ahead and use your imagination. Just picture me leaping up and going, hiya! Which witch is the bitch? Why, every witch is the bitch out here. It isn't a question of which. It's a question of which one's the most bitchin'. I grab my worm and I just throw it into the water. And then I cast my line. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, we're fishing now. <laughs> da, 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 da. Come on. Wait, I'm reeling. What is Keiko's witch name and how do we craft it? I got him. I got the char. <laughs> Gross. Do I not like fish? Dude, what the frick? Oh, we want to catch three of them, apparently. But, Gert, thank you for resubscribing for 31 months. Appreciated. Thank you. That is a good question, though. What what would my witch name be? People get angry when I grab my worm paint scrap. God dang it, Shrek. Looks like the fish joker. Charborg? It's not Charborg, Chet. Until we break it into a robot. And then it becomes Charborg. That's what the Borg part is. Come on, right? Yeah? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I like her voice acting when she catches it. Oh yeah, I got the fish. It goes into my pocket. Another char. It really does look kind of like a, a joker fish, doesn't it? If it was just smiling instead of frowning, it would hit it on. Do you think we will get a fish that has a big smile on it? Hmm. And now we're going to go ahead and run back to the little witch area. That way we can throw our paper at Farseer so we can learn some magic. Wait, is Charborg actually one of those singing wallfish? He could be. Have you asked him? And hello there, Warvoid. Hey, welcome. All right. Great. Just what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. You don't mean literal milkshakes, right? Aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa, are they what? really? What do I need to do? Oh, I'm excited. Like your spirit. The next step. Go <laughs> fishing. Time for you to go fishing. Seriously? Wait, That's what? what I was just Not doing. Just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. Are we aiming you for a squid, huh? Squid. I've had a hankering for color. Wait, hang on. Now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. See, the best way he knows how is on a not empty stomach. Therefore, he wants the calamari snacks in order to be nice and filled. He, he can't do any lessons on an empty stomach. He'll be too distracted and then he'll teach improperly and then I'll end up messing up the spell as a result and it would just be a whole disaster. And best friend, hello, welcome, hey. I miss the introduction to this character. I'm uncomfortable. To Farseer? Yeah, we haven't really had super formal introductions to any of those magic cult people. And it kind of sounds like that guy would have been the... I, I look sadly in the direction of the characters. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Train a hobo. I don't remember what your name is. I think that's who it was. By the way, hello there, RRCPF as well. Hey, hello. Does the witch tag on stream mean that Kako has become a real witch? Well, obviously, you're not allowed to play wildflowers unless you're a, we a real witch. Come on. Shelby. That's the name. Thank you, Wally. Perfect. All right, Shelby. Sunday. Which cam stream win? You know, that's not a bad thought. I do have a witch hat. Hmm. After the elf cam stream, we'll play a witch game. Hey, hey, Grandma, Grandma! I can't thank I've got you your potatoes for out here, sweetheart. Are the potatoes ready to harvest? Yeah. Yes, here they Grandma. are. Here's four potatoes from the field. Ooh, wonderful. Maybe you've got a greener thumb than you thought. Why don't you take them down to the general store and sell them? I'm sure Lena will give us a fair price for them. For the potatoes? Okay. We'll take the potatoes down to Lena. Oh, I forgot to buy the rice for the mushroom risotto, too. I guess I'll do that at the same time. Aha! Our dirt! Oh, wait. I only have one god dang weed? God dang it. I'm gonna have to find some more. Oh well, water up the beans. Wait, huh? <gasps> the cat! The cat! Oh, hey there, kitty. Do you want this? No. Oh, you're a good kitty. The best kitty. I love the kitty. Grandma, Grandma. You tell me you have a cat. A cat. Grandma. <laughs> The last cat I had was old Shadow, rest his soul. He wasn't much to look at, but he was a darn good mouser. This cat isn't yours? 
She seems awfully familiar with your garden. Ghost cat? Oh, no. oh. I don't own that cat. What a notion. She's a good friend to have around, though. So play nice. Name this cat Knuckles? God dang it. If it gives me an opportunity to name the cat, I will absolutely call it Knuckles. Hi, cat! Is this the same cat as the one out in the forest? It is. Nice. New cat! Since, yeah. Since the old cat was Shadow, the new cat can be Knuckles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now... I want to plant the tulip bulbs and have flowers, but I need to grow the green beans in order to complete my quest. So I guess we'll plant that first. Is the cat a shapeshifter? Because if I was a druid, I would just get pets. Hey, hey, do you think there's been a druid that has just wild shaped into say, a cat or a dog in order to just live its life? Like it's just a pet because then it says, hey, then I don't have to do any work. I can get pets. I can get free food. I can get free shelter. Forget going out on adventures or anything. I don't care about that. I'm a pet now. Yes, absolutely. Haven't you seen Harry Potter? Oh my God. You're right. Oh my God. Imagine they just pop out of wild shape mid petting and freak the person out. Hey, you just got pranked. Ooh. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay, two part commentary on both the Harry Potter situation with the Durant and in this idea about druid wild shaping. So, what if they are, like, a, a pet for someone who is either married or in a relationship and they have their significant other over and the pet is just, you know, hanging out in the room when things are having a little bit of a good time in there. Some voyeur druids. Why did you go to voyeurism first? That's a good question. Huh. Hmm. I, can I point and blame it on Shrek's, uh, Shrek's 14 inch un uncut 14 inch hog? It's a bad influence. I feel like this isn't the first time you've gone there either. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me just go ahead. Sophia, do you have any quests? Oh, yeah, I needed to go on over to the general shop so I can... Oh, Juliet plays guitar. That's sweet. Closed? God dang shops. Wait a second. Friday... Oh, I guess today is Sunday. We'll have to wait until tomorrow in order to buy stuff. I guess then... Wait, we can not say hello to Kai. Hey, don't drag me into your degenerate musings. You can't just blame Shrek's hog for everything, Kako. I can't. Oh. It's so like cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first Why is he so excited? From the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Aww. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Why did well, she opt I for chocolate, like chocolate then? So you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. Okay, hang on. Let me see your wares, Kai. So, here comes Grandma, coming on by to go shopping in order to give him business and support him to try to encourage other people to do the same. Why did she opt for chocolate over every... Like, does she like cinnamon? Why didn't she buy cinnamon? Does she like chili? Why didn't she buy chili? Because it's one of the cheapest, I guess. Grandma wanted to support the business more than just buying black tea seeds or chili, so she upgraded it to the next cheapest thing. But look, even the saffron's only 15! And you're, you are right, though. Saffron should definitely be more expensive than cinnamon and chili and chocolate. Why is saffron so cheap? Hmm... 
Hmm. What? Well, hang on. Why didn't I notice this before? This this teeny tiny baby clock on a little stone pedestal. Interesting architecture choice there, town. You, you think it'd be sitting off on its own, like not on a stone pedestal, firstly, or it'd be displayed a little bit differently? Saffron? These nuts! God dang it, Goblin! Dang it, Kako, my husband just overheard heard that entire voyeur conversation and he's judging me so much. Oh no! Uh, uh, quick, we need someone to blame! You shift it! We need something to fake! Uh, uh, it's very, you know, these are sophisticated educational topics that we need to know more about, right? Shrek's name didn't help the conversation either. Wait, does that mean I can re-blame it on all of him? Can I point and say it's just Shrek's fault? Help, help, help! No, dang it! What? Uh, you need some honey? Thanks again. No, no, no you can't. No problem. Have you planted the tulip seeds I gave you? If you grow flowers in your garden beds, you can attract bees. What? First, you need to build a beehive for them. Here's some instructions. <gasps> oh! If you keep the bees happy, they'll make honey and beeswax. The more flowers, the faster the bees can produce honey. So plant plenty. Uh, do I really want to yes. eat bees, though? Won't they sting? Bees can feel your intentions. You just have to come at them with the right oh. energy. Come back when you have honey to sell, oh. and I'll buy some from you. Vibe with the bees. Get honey. Don't get stung. Easy. I got it. That's not true at all, Otter. You just you just don't know how to vibe with the bees, okay? You you're just not a bee person, I guess. To <laughs> blame the hog. You gotta do the bee dance. Ooh. Hang on, as then I look back up over at Ginger's comments. If that's the bee dance, I think I might want to pass. Don't wear black socks, we hates them. Okay, check. I'll be sure to not wear black socks when trying to interact with bees. Why don't you vibe on bees? Thoth, no! I throw worm out to the water so I can do some fishing for squids. Oh, uh, got one. See, even when she says got one when she's fishing, she gets lip syncing. That did not look like a squid. That looked like a shrimp, crawfish, something like that. That did not look like... Can these fish do camouflage? Huh? Hmm? I saw it had legs! Polymorphing sea life. Did I just catch a druid? Is that a squid that I've got in my... Wait, message in a bottle? Oh, it... No? Can I... Can I catch that? I'm pointing? I'm pointing a... No! My message in a bottle! Oh. Oh. Squids are masters of s disguise. I have watched documentaries on some octopus that can do an excellent job of, you know, kind of changing their colors and form to look like something else. I didn't realize that they could look like a completely different type of animal ocean life. Don't pet that squid. I hold the squid in my hand. I reach up with other hand and it starts moving closer. Now, where is Bruno now? How can I tell him about these cool fish creatures that I bought? Or caught, sorry. <laughs> but imagine if I did I just like go buy well. them and she pretend. She reminds me of my grandmother. When I came out, my dad had a hard time with it. Obasan told him to get over himself. <laughs> <sighs> I really miss her. Oh. Oh. On that note, you can absolutely build up a tolerance to snake bites. A snake cult. Hmm. 
but the beekeepers just build up tolerance to being stung. They don't have magic powers. That's what they want you to believe. Hey, that absolutely like sounds like low, something a magician would say bakery. to try and His trick you. Are divine. Hang on, fiance. I'm very lucky I have a fast metabolism. Does that mean Francis and Angus are in a relationship? That means I can't date either of them. Oh. But there's Bruno. Bruno, Wonderful. you're the fish. You got the look of a lifelong angler in your eyes now. <laughs> Already? Oh, now here's a real challenge. Catching a certain fish is about the right bait, the right place, and luck. Are you going to give me more free bait? Nice, fresh striped sea bass. They're ocean fish, so you got to go to the beach. They might go for a worm, but you'll have yes, better free luck bait. with this. Give me the bag. In the future, you can keep bait fish you catch to try and hook bigger and more valuable fish. Come back when you caught one. So does that mean I could take one of my sardines to try and catch a sea bass with it? Hmm. You mean this polymorphing squid? Stripe. This bass! God dang it, Wooly, no! Oh, heck. Oh, jeez. As I ponder... Uh, we've got squid. I guess this is, it is 7.50, and we did catch squid. We can go ahead and run back over to the forest. Pants grab, jokes never fail. They're also enhanced by the fact that they've got little business peepos to pair with them. So it's like he's very proud delivering the joke. He slams his brief down on the tabletop, flips it open, and is like, Check out this! Oh, people. I didn't want to chop this wood. I wanted to pick the mushroom. But I won't say no, I guess, since I can always use more wood, you know? Give me the wood, please. Y Witching hour! Wowee! Woo! I don't even know what the real pants grab emote is, and at this point, I don't want to know. Really? It's, it's just pants grab it it do grabbing his junk that's all it is that's why we threw that to the trash and we put in our people instead hey guess what Don't i've got wait She'll teach you. Oh, come back. i thought i was supposed to give you all right hi grandma you did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch but actually, writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron oh, right that? in the circle? Oh, well. Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Mess. Oh, no. No, no, the Coven Cauldron is where we leave offerings for the Wellspring, the source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a Coven is to maintain the Wellspring. Mess. We cannot draw more energy from it than we put in. I have in. to maintain the mess. The incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, You'll need your own. Go on. <laughs> the meth and energy balance. To the wellspring. Over time, you'll learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Hickey Try pot. different things and see what happens. Ooh, ooh. Could this be like Harvest Moon and there's a harvest goddess? You know, cool, cool witch goddess in here. And I could date and marry the witch goddess because yes, please. <laughs> Maintain this pet scrap. Oh my god. How much wood would a wood cackle cut if a wood cackle could cut wood? All of it. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh, oh, not really. No. Ugh, I like either. grandma. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer. <laughs> grandma in the background with that framing. She, it's like she's eavesdropping on us and very excited about it. I love listening in on people's conversations. If you can't date a witch, I'm not buying this game. Okay, if just one of these townspeople ends up being, you know, 
one of these witches, which is pretty obvious. As long as they're single, we just date them. It's easy. Uh. Uh, okay. I'll, I'm gonna throw the moonflower in there. Wait, I'm looking at the top left. I can see a little meter, right? I Ooh, mm, mm. Wellspring does not like blueberries. It turns up his notes at blueberries. Fine, if you don't want them, give you a moonflower instead. <laughs> blueberries, oh, more like so ew berries. Spells? Cool. Careful. We must never draw more magic from the Wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is I, all mm. of our responsibility. It feels like that should be everybody's concern. And we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay, I will. Drain it all. It's all mine. Now, you'd better Ooh, get what to the? work on writing your first incantation. Okay, Grandma. That's like everyone's worry. I know. You think every witch out here would care about the balance and keeping it and what happens if it fails? That way you know why you want to avoid that failure, but no, apparently not my concern. Industrial offering generation, we need more power. We set up Minecraft factory system. Just rows and rows and rows of moonflowers as it can auto harvest and then dump them in the pot. They'll all care when they all fucking explode. All right, who drew too much power from the well? So, I'm kind of concerned about how excited he is about the squid now. No, no, these aren't for lunch. You need to make some nice black ink, and squid ink is the best. Uh, you could have said so. I just did. Now you'll need. He's gonna eat that squid anyway, though, for a snack. Ah, that's your basement. You wouldn't want anyone to happen on your half-written incantations. Once you've got your ink, there's a couple more things you'll need. Come back here, and I'll give them to you. At the least, we're not writing incantations in blood, so there's a bonus. From the well? E? Uh? I give magical power to no one. Oh, Wally's keeping all of his magical power to himself. God dang boners. I write my chat messages in blood. Oh, that's why you have the red name. Oh, oh. I don't even have normal power. Yeah, all right, skeleton. I roll my eyes as if anyone would believe a skeleton ha doesn't have some amount of power. <laughs> what a selfish dork. I write my chat messages in P. I don't believe you, Gooblin. Because then why would your name be Pink? Pink, 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 Pink. Um. Uh, oh. Um. Uh, Gooblin, you might want to see, uh, you might want to see a doctor. Uh, uh, Gooblin. Uh, uh, uh-oh. Look, I can make the boost harvest potion. Excuse me. Hey, wait a second. A distillery, huh? Required for some drinks? We really can do moonshine down here in the basement. Ooh. Mm, mm. I scream my messages at my computer, pressing the keys with the power of my voice. Wow, strong voice, but too poor to make the desk. We'll have to wait for tomorrow then in order to uh, sell to some bed? of our items. Yeah, we should go to bed. Haha, <laughs> the doctor said I have a severe baddie inflection. A severe b baddie? Inflection? Hey, hey, hang on, hmm? 
Hello, Grandma? Oh, yeah, Grandma, I forgot to buy the rice again. I probably couldn't afford it anyway. I guess I better grab up some of our things to sell. Do I need to water these since it's raining? Nope. Cool. Aha, can I do... Can I do multiple dirts at once? No, only one at a time. That's unfortunate. However, since we do have one dirt, actually, I'm racing back up here. Can I make one of the garden beds? It's gonna take up more of my money, which means less for the desk, but it won't stop me. I wanna grow the flowers. Don't pack the soil too tight now. You'll choke the seedlings. What the frick, oh. Thomas? Hello, Thomas. I didn't hear you. That's because I don't wear big, clumpy boots like you city folk. Oh anyway. my god, Thomas. <clears throat> that they're I'm fashionable! First plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <gasps> Carrot seeds! Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well... She's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my is, best with Is Thomas soon there? Hmm. <laughs> we get it, Thomas. <laughs> we get it. It's because she's old. We know. We understand. But I do not plant the carrot seeds he's given us. We plant the tulip bulbs that we got from Violet instead. <laughs> what the heck is that supposed to mean? Boots are good. Also... As I'm walking over here. Hi. It's look, me again. Looks kind of suspiciously grandma, like he's I got shoes that are very similar now. to mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, not so easy. Mm -hmm. Hazel's got some of the best soil on the island. Shame for it to go to waste. Look, city girl. Just water your plants and you'll do fine. He says while it's raining. Those are lying boots, so if we pulled up his pants, we'd see they're just shoes. Except just because they're boots doesn't make them automatically more stompy than shoes. So with the way that his shoes look in compared to my boots, I think they look like they could be just as stompy, you know? So here he is judging me in my shoes when he's actually just stomping around himself. Mmm. But I guess his shoes, even if he is stomping around, he's stomping quietly since he did sneak up on me. Unless I, Tara here, just, you know, totally absorbed in my planting, not paying any attention, bad of hearing, you know? These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. As you just stare then directly at the end, smiling suspiciously, big wide-eyed, rubbing your hands together deviously, and now the other person is sweating, concerned about the wants to be walked all over. Oh, and hello there, Scott. Hey, hello, welcome. You know, there's quite a few of us who moved here from a city. Francis, Kim, Parker, and Messenger Cameron, of course. We're taking over. <laughs> This town must have been tiny before then. If so many people have moved in relatively recently from the city. Now, I'll admit there are uses for boot uh, for shoes other than boots. But if you're doing a lot of manual labor. Oh, and we haven't talked to him in days in order to get our prize. Come on, come on. Wonderful! The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. As promised, here is your reward for playing our little game. We hope it helped you acclimatize. Uh, thanks! Uh, money's great too, though. Yay! I love money! Messenger I mean... Connor told me you said hello! I'm so pleased you two spoke. The building he transformed into the Consciousness Center was a real eyesore. Consciousness and look at Center? It now. He's a shining example of how to change a community for the better. Consciousness Center. So the church that we were observing is called the Consciousness Center. Eh. It does make it sound kind of like a uh, Scientology, doesn't it, huh? Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't like the sound of consciousness center. Hi, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little more overwhelming than others. <laughs> uh, kind of a suspicious side glance there, Lena, but all right. Now, let me see. I wanted a bag of rice. Yes, buy one. I think that's the only thing I needed to purchase. The only other piece that we wanted to do is we wanted to sell some of our items. The coconut sold for a pretty good amount. We'll sell the potatoes, though. Four potatoes. Plenty. Ooh, we've leveled up our shop. These items are now available for purchase. Let's go shopping. Oh, uh, out of season. Oh, oh. The, so uh, the sugar isn't, though, but who boy. That means the sugar is also more expensive than the saffron. Wow. Hi, hey, Damon. Have you tried Kim's butcher shop yet? Well, there I've was been there. On the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. Hmm. Oh, I forgot that I was supposed to sell some of those potatoes too. I'm glad I sold four then and finished that quest. I guess this town has two cults. Also, pan scrap for no reason. <laughs> Duke? I think you're just trying to bait with the paint scrap emote. You're like, look at my message. It has a paint scrap in it. Ooh. Weird cults famous for never doing anything messed up. No, 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 no. Saffron is great. I wish it was cheaper. I'm sure many, many saffron appreciators agree with you. I think I have everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Uh, there were mice. There was also some hummingbirds. I don't think that would make very good bacon, though. I, I'm pretty sure Kim made the comment that they got the meats from off-island right now. Lena bought the potatoes just as you said. Oh, here's the money, Grandma. Oh, I'm so excited. I won't hear of it. You did all the work. You deserve the reward. But Grandma, I... I mean it. If you want to keep fixing things up around here, you'll need all the cash you can get anyway. Buy some more seeds. If we keep the fields planted, we'll always have a way to make it. It's weird meet. to refer oh. to our garden okay. plots as but fields. only because I'm going to use the earnings to help the farm. Yay! From bud to spun! And now we'll make the mushroom risotto! Here we go! Right there. Wow, I didn't realize just how many mushrooms we have. <laughs> 18. Wow. We've been doing a lot of foraging, huh? Okay, Grandma. Here you go. Yeah. Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, that honey. Field is smaller than my yard. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Uh. I just made enough It'll for you, actually. All right. <sighs> I run out to my field as I admire the plants that I have. Oh, that's what I wanted. We wanted to do the desk so we could make up our incantation down here in our meth basement. Ooh, and my potion's done. And then we make our desk. We'll go ahead and build it. I'm going to put it up here just below the ladder. I love that it doesn't actually require, like, time passage to build things. Like, even though it does for making items over here, it doesn't for building, at least. Instantly get this desk. Give me the black ink. I grab the entire squid. And then the entire squid gets shoved down into a bottle of ink. That's intense. All right. Oh, oh, oh. It's only 110. That is far too early to actually go out and get some witching done. To wring out the squid like a dish towel. I grab the squid and I'm just like, shh, 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 twist, 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 twist. And then it just drips out the ink. And definitely how you gather ink from a squid. Sure. 
Wait, we don't have max hearts with grandma? Assuming there's more three hearts on that scale. Uh, I'm clicking buttons. Uh, and why? Okay, here we go. As I navigate here to residence, as I look for grandma, did I go past her? Is she not here? Is grandma not actually a resident of- Oh wait, no, there's grandma. No, it does look like grandma only has the three heart spots because we can see with, say, Juliet, she only has one. Kai has a lot. Kim has a lot. So I would say that grandma only has three max. Grandma Hazel Wild, 82 years old? Enter farm are the reason you're here. You hadn't seen her for 20 years, but fortunately things are different now. Also, it turns out that Grandma Hazel is a witch! And not just any witch, but a respected elder in the Fairhaven Coven. <laughs> You're still processing all this. She looks healthy for an 82-year-old, to be honest. She really does. As much as everyone talks about how Grandma is struggling, nope, pretty impressive for the fact that she's 82. That's really weird to have different scales. Natalia has four, but others have one, seven, or three. I would imagine because it varies based upon how much you can become friends with them. So maybe the people that have seven hearts, you're able to actually romance. Whereas the people with, say, only four, you can't, potentially. Yeah, with by extension, only having one available for... Children, you don't really care about getting that close to the kids. You know, <laughs> don't romance grandma. Yeah, that's why she's only capped at three hearts. We do not want to romance grandma. That would be weird. Oh, and here's grandma. It's time to head out to the forest. Romance someone else's grandma, see? Eh? Eh? Wait, but I don't think there were any other grandmas in town. Dang it! So you're saying the number of hearts represents the fuckability factor? You know, it's one way to describe it. The most realistic <laughs> aspect of this game, my need to ignore the children. <laughs> Grandma killed all the elders. There can only be one. Or at least all of the other not not dudes, because you can think of like how Bruno's still around, Shelby is still around, Thomas is still here, and they're all olds too. Now, do we have anything we can forge for out here? I guess we could do a little bit of fishing. Though we did need to fish out at the ocean for that one thing that Bruno wants us to catch. But the cat had three hearts? Well, yeah, but so did Grandma. So we can become nice, warm friends with Cat. Bruno? We're not supposed to talk about them. God dang it, Welly. God dang it, Welly. I, like, read that I was like, why aren't we supposed to talk about Bruno? Oh, yeah. No one's here yet. Still have to wait. Maybe the reason Grandma has three hearts is that she took two of them from the other elders. Oh, look! Oh my god, they are arriving on the brooms! Holy hell! <laughs> so now you can picture that if anyone is out at seven o'clock that they just be hanging and then they would see just these people flying on broomsticks in the air and landing down on the ground uh, all right farseer farseer grandma grandma was not riding on a broomstick here she was walking so it takes her a little bit longer Farseer! Oh, Farseer! I think I've walked you through the tricky bits. This here will explain the extra bits you need. Once you have them, go and write it at your newly made desk. Technically, this isn't an incantation. This is just a piece of paper with some mumbo-jumbo on it. Well, then what's the difference? When you go home 
and write this on your freshly pressed paper. Hold the offering in your other hand. That's your thistle. You must concentrate on every word as you write it. You'll know it's working if, as you finish, the offering has vanished and you feel some of your magic is drained away. Magic isn't like life force, is it? will be an incantation. You should take it to the High Priestess when it's ready. What does this incantation do? That's not for me to discuss. Uh, now I'm concerned. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. I see. No, you don't, liar. You like said at the start that you said vision? you got near, vision. that you're nearsighted. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. Now I'm just weirded out by Farseer. I don't know that I like him. Farseer, more like far here. Ha ha! The bat scrab got him. Oh no, now he's gonna cry. He can't wear glasses with the mask on. Oh no, he should have had it specially designed so that they could fit in there or so that the mask would have the glasses built in, dude. Oh. It's like my small town where everyone closes super early. Which makes me wonder if my town has a witch infestation. A duke, maybe you should stay out a little bit later than normal. Go sit on your porch, maybe grab a pair of binoculars and keep an eye out on your night sky. May maybe also keep a particular close eye on the nearby forest that you have. Hmm. Hmm. Shelby is too lazy to walk the 10 meters to the left from his old hut, so he flies in. Or, uh, but how high is the priestess, dude? Probably not high enough. What? I don't have that flower! Mm. Am I gonna go have to buy it from Violet now? From Violet's Violet's? Oh, well, I'll have to do that tomorrow, then. Is it time? Because it's mm. obviously closed right now, because it's like 10 o'clock at night. Well, we sleep! New morning. A new day, it's Tuesday. Oh. Uh, ah! Uh, stretching. I like that the camera is always angled outside the house as if we're being a creep and we just watched Tara sleep through the night. Still gotta say, this game has been really good so far. I agree. This game is great. Voyeur game! Oh no! <laughs> Mm. Do I want to use the Harvest Boost Potion? Is it just a one-time thing that just auto-applies the one time? Hmm. I am not a fan of the animations. That's fine if you aren't. If they kind of rub you the wrong way. I mean, hey. Personally, I like the animations. There's something that just... It feels like it puts it at just a level that's kind of interesting. I I like the animations, personally. If you don't, alright, that's fine. You don't have to like them. Holy shit, I'm sorry, but I just had a goddamn divine revelation. Hmm? As I'm also pondering here, I need those flowers. So we want to wait for Violet here. I was trying to order something on Uber Eats and it said there was a Mr. Beast burger near my house exactly where heavy construction has been happening for the past while. That's interesting. Hi, Tara. I have been meaning to tell you. I love that little jacket dress combo. No Thank one in you. even cares much about fashion other than Princess Sophia and myself. Oh, thanks. You're I fashionable nice too. About living in the city. So many chic outfits to look to for inspiration. <laughs> yeah. I am I don't know about location, but when I was looking at my phone for eating somewhere for lunch the other day, there was a place that it it was like, hey, here's this place. And I like went and Googled it. And then someone on Yelp made the comment that they don't actually have a physical location. They use a different restaurant's kitchen to make the food, which they then sell. So then I typed in like the address they had listed on Yelp. 
And sure enough, the restaurant they showed was something different. And yeah, Thonax commenting, yeah, it's called a ghost kitchen. I don't really care about Mr. Bean, Mr. Beast much, but the thought of one being like four minutes from my house freaks me out. Her peculiar. And I... I thought that was the case for the Mr. Beast kitchen, uh, food, burgers, whatever, as well as... It's not like I have obviously been really like, Oh, I gotta keep track of Mr. Beast burgers, my favorite content creator and businessman! I just know it's a thing that not much. I thought it was then a kind of an online thing happening, which if you lived near one of their sort of ghost kitchen locations, then you could order it and that they didn't have their own dedicated, hey, let's go in and stop at the Mr. Beast shack. But maybe I'm wrong and that's why they're constructing that place is you're going to end up having an actual physical Mr. Beast location near your house. I have no idea. And... Stugleaf, hello, welcome. It's not terrible, but it's just way too much. They slather the burgers and this flavored mustard. I would imagine because Mr. Beast, this is just, this is an assumption on my part. If his huge interest isn't really on food and it's a little bit more casual and he's like, hey, this is a business thing that I could do maybe. This would be an interesting idea to approach that it then takes it to a different, you know, quality, a little bit kind of a lower tier fast food type of place because he's just casually getting into it rather than someone who's like, yes, I love to cook. I love doing chef things. I'm going to open my own restaurant and sell the food because hell yeah, cooking. So it puts a different quality as a result. My mom is a middle school teacher and was telling me how about how hyped her students were about a Mr. Beast burger opening in my hometown. Oh, children. And hello there, Pyro Pal. Welcome. Mr. Beast, more like Mr. Beast. Dude, stop. You're going to make Mr. Beast cry. I'm going to say, yeah, I miss it. I loved seeing all those chic outfits, too. I do miss getting to wear impractical things sometimes without having to worry about them getting covered in mud. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've ruined so many pairs of cute shoes in my garden. I can't even talk about it. Don't get me wrong. I like selling flowers, but my real dream is to open up my own boutique someday. When oh, I Violet. Do, folks from Milkwater will be coming here to check out the latest styles instead of the other way around. Oh, look, look, now we're better friends now, too, Chip. We talked about fashion, and now we're a little bit closer to each other. Oh, Milkwater is such a crusty name. Uh, you know, you... You're not wrong, are you? You look between milk and water, and you imagine the idea of mixing them together? Hmm. Hmm. What is it, then? The skim milk town? Hmm. It ain't whole milk over there. We called that ghost water as kids. All right. I wanted to buy from you. Snowdrop or tulip? Those aren't the flowers that I need. This isn't it. It was like... Was it the crocus that I needed for the flower? Hang on, uh, this is the selling uh, portion. That doesn't look quite right either from my memory. They said thistle. They did say thistle as the offering, but the thistle, as I pull out my inventory here, magic, fish, cooking, crafting, residence to do. Okay, I'm not sure where I can access my inventory. Hang on, B, that button, there we go. See, if I go down to our inventory section here, this is what the thistle looks like, and that is not what they wanted. I think the thistle is a second portion of the quest, but not the first where I'm actually making it or something. Is it, did they have the recipe here? I guess they do in this... No, as I'm looking through, the to-do just has the incantation listed, resonance crafting, tool shed... 
Hobbies. Oh, hey, look. Beer. Hmm. Oh, apple cider! You better believe, if I ever got to the point of being able to grow apples in this game, that I would be making apple cider. Forget everything else. I do apple cider only. Cooking fish magic. Here we go. Incantations. Right there. See? See? That last picture is not a thistle. That is something different. But the flower shop here is not selling it to me. I don't know if we need to level it up or find it somewhere else. What is that? It reminds me kind of of an orchid. But it's, uh... Which I guess she doesn't sell. Well, I can try selling maybe, but I don't have any of these. She's not buying any thistles either. If I got some tulips, I could sell them to her. We just have to grow them first. But, well, I can't do anything right now then. It could potentially be a wild flower that just doesn't grow to the right of town and say it grows across the bridge or something. I'm not entirely sure. Hey, you. Parker. Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. It's a little bit weird to have everybody described as being difficult or having some people described like they are difficult to be friends with. And honestly, some of the only people that have felt that way has maybe to an extent with Shelby and Thomas and then maybe the first lady a little bit. Otherwise, everyone in the town has seemed very friendly, but maybe that's also partially because we're the granddaughter of Hazel, so that might it might kind of give us an in. And Laser Guana, hello, welcome, hey. Now show me your blueprint. Oh yeah, we've already seen your blueprints. No information though about being able to repair the bridge. That's cause Tara is smoking hot. Oh, so you're saying that everyone's like, hi Tara, hi Tara, hello, hey, because I'm hot. I guess people do tend to like those who are attractive. That is fair. I say as I run over and wave to Kai. It really looks like you've been around the world, Kai. Well, yeah. Back when I was doing the pro circuit, I hit up a lot of places. The pro circuit? But I've been keeping it local lately. Less stress. Yeah, I can get that, Kai. I pat him on the back. I mean, the doctor was certainly like that. That's true. We did meet the doctor and she was very like, hey, wink, 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 wink. I betcha it's not real, Saffron. That's why it's cheap. Ooh, fake? Pretend? Oh my God. I think Lena's kids must have messed with the doors of the schoolhouse. She sure was at a temper last night. Was muttering something about the locks. Now I'm pondering if I ever bought any saffron from him, if I should be concerned about what I'm actually consuming. How's the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not, not so that far. much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing. Becoming run down. Whoa, Amira, you're becoming too philosophical for me. Uh, back it up, please. Also, now that I'm pondering, what when Violet was listing off the people that cared about fashion, was Amira one of them? Because with the, the way she's got her little necklace bit and the eyeshadow she's got worn, it it feels like she would be interested in fashion too. But I suppose I could be wrong. All right, great. I, I pondered for a second. I was like, I wonder if Amira would be someone that we can romance. And she does have seven hearts. So that means we can totally romance her too. 
I'm going to assume that anybody who has seven hearts were able to romance. Which, by the way, does mean that Violet and Natalia, we cannot woo. Oh. Wait, Bruno is Rigby? He is! <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on. I... Uh, Bruno, Bruno was Rigby. I'm running over to Bruno again. By the way, Dread Bun Bun, thank you for following. We talked to him. Stripers are picky. They like smaller fish, and you'll need to be surf casting at the beach to get one. I'm laughing now. That, I guess, is also a reason why they have pretty good voice acting in this game, is they've got Pretty good voice actors to voice act for it. <laughs> Immersion broken! We can romance the Scientologist? Yeah, Cameron's also a romanceable option. I'm like trying to decide what I want to do. I think what I will do is we'll go run over to the beach and we see if we can catch the one fish that Bruno was asking for. Holy shit, I'm so goddamn immersed now. I feel like I'm part of the world knowing the voice actor for Bruno. Yay! As I sprint past Francis, excuse me. I've got places to be. And it's over here in the second part of town with the ocean where I can go fishing. Oh, stuff! Seaweed! Huh. Does that mean I could make sushi at some point? With, with seaweed that I've just grabbed off of the beach. He's apparently Doc Ock in the Spider-Man games, too. Amazing. All right, it's time to put my chub in the water, chat. There it goes. Off on the line. Seaweed to make a sea joint. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you don't want to catch a sea bass, don't reel in this common fish. Wait for the bigger fish to bite. Oh. Oh, intriguing. So, when you can see the different fish that are biting the line, Quick. Ha. Gotcha. it's kind of like you're choosing which thing to reel in. So, when we saw that message in a bottle earlier, if we had waited for the first fish to bite and pass by, then we could have gotten that message in a bottle. So, I have completely messed out as a result. <laughs> a dark saltwater fish with rows of sharp teeth. An epic catch. Sell it to Bruno or cook with it. <laughs> Gross. Sea bass. Instantly making me think of Animal Crossing because that's one of the puns that they use for one of their games when you catch it. I like how there's no annoying fishing minigame. Honestly, it does make it almost a little bit of a relief. Yeah, you could say. Because a lot of these games do like having little extra mini games to go with the fishing. So it's almost a different spin by not having that. Hang on. Is Bruno? Yep, Bruno. Bruno! Bruno! I got it! Here it is! Oh, would you look at that beauty? What would you like for your prize? I would like a shower. <laughs> he nah, does not like, like fish. Gut bait is part of the life. You'll get used to it. Speak it a bait. Here's some more. <laughs> more I bait? Three different kinds of bait. Wow, Three oh my god. Try. They'll catch different fish in different water. Happy angling! I really like... I do. I know you said the next that you don't like the animation. But I, I like talking to them and seeing their excited little like... When they hold up their two fists and they kind of uh, wiggle them up and down a little bit. You know, all excited like. I think... There's something that's kind of sweet about it. I like it. Rigby gave you three chubs. He he gave me three chubs in order to catch a sea bass. Hmm. Hey, thanks for getting me that fish. As a reward, go fish more for me. God dang it. A pants grab! No! Okay, if I choose the bait... Okay, we can see right now, one tiny fish. We choose bait. Does that instantly change fish that are appearing? No, still just one fish. 
But that, is that because we're just using a worm? Would it have changed if we had chosen oh, a different wow. type of bait? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh. Well, that's not the fish that I thought I was going to get. Apparently, we got in a day from there, then. I think they said time of day and locations matter, too. They did. You're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn! Yahoo! Quick, that's your opportunity! Do you have a dab emote? Now's the time to use it! Yahoo! Yahoo! Except it feels like dabs are uncool now. I remember a few years ago when it was hip to dab when you were one of the cool kids if you dabbed. But I don't think that's cool to do anymore. It It's like planking out of fashion. Free and dabless. But thank you. See, we do have some dabbing emotes in chat there, there. Perfect. Now you can feel like you're the fish. I'm bringing dabbing back. Thanks, best friend. We would love, we love it. Love to see it. It's post-ironic now, I think. It, it be it's become ironic to dab. Do people still sing the number one victory royale song? Can, can we do some dabbing while singing it? At number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite. It's time to get down. Uh, Deb? Deb, Deb, Deb. The only reason I know and remember... Oh my god! Yes! I found it! The witch weed! As we're just happening across on the side of the town and it's just growing right there. How perfect. God damn. I'm glad I decided uh, to take the left path up here to my farm rather than going to the right. Otherwise, I would not have happened across that witch weed. <laughs> but, okay, the only reason I know lyrics to that Fortnite song is because of it being available on, like, the Wombo AI, where you could take pictures and make it look like the picture singing the song. Because it was funny taking classical paintings and making them sing. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite, it's time to get down. That song got stuck in my head for a bit. <laughs> yeah. New strain just dropped. All right, initiation right. We craft it. Uh-huh. Chat's like raising their eyebrows at me. Yeah, sure. We definitely believe you. You're totally not actually just regularly going out of your way to listen to the songs. Way to stand 16 pog. Dude. Vey, hello! Thank you for resubscribing for 12 months! I hope you're doing well, Vey. Having a good time with all of your streaming actions? You always stream at a later night time for my own time zone, so it's uh, hard to stop by and be like, Hi! Hello! Hey! I'm all, I feel like a lot of the time I'll be l in bed and I'll be like, notification on my phone! Hey, is streaming! And I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> oh, but I hope you've been having a nice time. Having a good time. Having a good time. Excellent. You can tell he's having a good time because of his skilled little skeleton dance. Look at him go. I gotta work on that. Streaming in time zones! <laughs> Alright, Farseer. Good job! You made your first incantation. Usually you can just cast your incantations any time you please. But for this one, you'll need the whole coven. Now take really? this over oh. to the High Priestess. She'll tell you what to do. Time zones don't exist? There's only one? What? What? What's the one time zone that we're on then? I guess there is the universal time zone, right? Is that the one we're supposed to be on? Oh no. I might have been going in at my work at the wrong times then. Can we just use Earth time around here? Uh, oh! No. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions though. I keep 
whenever I want to walk over to the pot, I always end up accidentally talking to her. I guess she's not even the high priestess. This person is, though. We didn't even want to go to the pot. We want to go to the priest. The incantation for the initiation right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. It's ready. Good. Initiate Terra, give the incantation to Elder Hazel. She must be the one to cast it. Okay. Grandma! Here's the Grandma. initiation incantation, Grandma. Honeybee, before we get started, I have a gift for you. This has been in our family oh, it's even for wrapped. generations. And it is our custom to pass it on at the time uh -huh, of initiation. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Try them on. She's excited. Oh, oh, and now we can be mysterious cultist. <laughs> Yay. Oh, like all before you, they fit you beautifully. Oh, I feel taller. <laughs> yeah. That was done during my Aunt Vivian's time. She was a bit on the short side oh my god wanted to appear more regal oh my god so she spelled the robes then the other witches got jealous and we might be magical but we're still human <laughs> short <laughs> initiate tara take your places for the right she couldn't take her initiate. height and she's like i need to be taller you new knowledge but with it comes a sacred duty who brings forth this initiate to join our coven i do as the great wheel turns, so must dun, 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 we take dun, dun. our part. Here where our ancestors stood before us, and where others will follow. Wand. Enter our circle, for this is the hour of fair haven. I can't help but just imagine somebody's gonna power. jump out and be like, BOO! those characters look cool i mean we do look like cultists and cults are pretty cool Weird. Ooh, look i have novice in front of my name now but in a good way you are ready return tomorrow and we will continue your training also hello there i'm not sure quite how you say your name if it's at chans or akans regardless hello welcome hi oh wow i got rewarded with some extra incantation things and these things can be crafted. A hand that's exploding, that's shooting up sparklers from it. Or a sonic run. You know, go zippy fast. I now what do you have to say? Being the high priest? Nah, nah. I'm good at the prophecy and, and the muttering. Not so much the leading. Besides, there's all the paper paperwork. Hang on. Paperwork? Sure, mounds. Oh, oh. Being in the coven suddenly sounds a lot less fun. Confetti hands! <laughs> Summon sparkles and run fast. The greatest. Oh, and then you can just come, like, as you're running, you shoot out the sparkles from your hands, so it's like you're rocketing around places. Oh, hell yeah. I know which ones who transformed into a hawk she saw gliding majestically above her. The bird knew how to fly, but she didn't. It was a mess. I'm concerned. Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation, or haste, is basically what I'd be learning to cast between As those you two. Make sense, your Ow. grandmother doesn't believe in keeping our identity secret. It's a noble idea, but I've concluded that it isn't practical. I've concluded that it isn't practical as grandma leaves unrobed walking away from the place and then everybody else flies off on their broom at 12 30 a.m oh no I need to get home grandma you need to get home too I pick grandma up and I carry her back or just you know speed past her as grandma just hobbles back all right wasn't really ready for these people to just be kind of normal. I mean, they ultimately are just all the townsfolk, so I guess it makes sense that they're just kind of normal. Unrobed grandma, huh? Now, when you pair it with the suffering mode, then it just... Grandma? Now, someone made a comment earlier about grandma and teleportation. I'm concerned. I'm concerned now. Picks up grandma, casts haste. I think she just 
casted haste. Oh no! <laughs> but I was so close to getting home on my own. Oh jeez. Teleportation is a basic incantation, Oof. and Grandma's addicted I to it. I should get myself to bed earlier today. Me 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 me. That was me. I just fell flat on my face, and then Grandma, who was walking along the path. Still walking, hobbling along, she just comes across me face first in the mud and is like, Oh, Tara, and then picks me up. By the way, now it's, um, 12 a.m., by the way, so I really did just sleep the day away. Guess it checks out. But I think then, having just become witch, completing that first little quest chain in order to become an official novice apprentice witch over here, that puts us at a great time to end the stream chat. So, everybody, thank you all for coming on by to watch. Thank you to those who have resubscribed, as well as given bits, as well as follow today. It's all very appreciated. And for those who are new, we uh, I do stream regularly. Every weekend, same time, 10 o'clock Central, which is then 11 o'clock Eastern, and then 8 o'clock Pacific. If you need to know a different time zone, I'm sorry, I don't have them all memorized. However, I do have my stream times over in my schedule tab on Twitch, which does change the time to what your time zone would be. Additionally, we are doing a watch party on the Discord in... It would be two hours, an hour and a half, from now. So if you want to come join us for that, you're free to. We don't have anything specifically planned quite yet. We will be deciding what we want to watch, whether it's a specific series or something, or if it is just miscellaneous YouTube videos. Who knows? But you're free to join. Anybody is. Kako hates EU. I look around nervously. I I get up and uh I walk away. <laughs>